And we're back after a little bit of a food break. And we're continuing on our playthrough of Crusader Kings 2. This is Count John D, and we're going to continue this on. Hmm. It's a good question of what we actually want to do now. Whether we would just want to try to want to wait out this threat. Or whether we want to try to create opportunities for us to create quick, easy wars. So that the defensive pact against us just don't matter. Hmm. I think I'm going to go go ahead in the Atna uh, let wait until the Atna uh, wait until the threat lowers uh, at least down to uh, down below 50, because then I think we can just take more territory more efficiently that way in the way we're set up right now anyway. Let me see, Harold Country. The other thing I'm actually a little bit hoping is that it wouldn't be bad if Scotland continued to do something. And oh yes, also this thing I forget, keep forgetting about. Uh, we just have three. We just have uh, three counties in Scotland. We uh, three Scotland Scottish counties in Atnaska in the middle of France. It just happened. Okay, I think we're actually just gonna wait wait with the money because we're gonna try to. to create a war chest, and if we create the war chest, we get the extra national tax. Uh, <coughs> let me see. I've been curious that Catholic priests are constantly pestering Prince Rackham no matter what she promises to do, or no matter how much money she puts to the Catholic Church. I know what Prince could, could do. Gets plus 20. I don't want to make anything, anything to make the priests upset. You want it twice? It'll cost you. Yeah, I'm going to say I want to have it twice. It'll cost you. Let's see how well that does for me. I need to get some more upgrades done, though. Yeah. Gotland Prosperous. That's actually not bad. That's my county over here. It's got actually got Prosperity 2. Uh, maybe we should probably upgrade this place a little bit more. Ooh. So that's fine. We get got a little bit of a bit more money. And we're also kind of hoping that this conversion... Okay, sometimes in my experience, maybe this is just a belief. If you resettle him there, it'll actually increase the odds of it happening. But maybe that's wrong. But I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. Actually, I haven't checked anywhere. Centron into hiding, go into hiding. I'm trying... Is someone trying to assassinate me? That's so mean. I'm your emperor. Mm, nah. I'm just going to fearlessly stride forward. I don't think assassinating me is going to be easy, because I'm a relatively well-liked <laughs> relatively well -liked emperor, so I'm not honestly not honestly not a big fan of... Uh, a big fan uh, of just going into hiding, when I think the diplomatic side is probably better just... Better to keep the diplomacy high, make sure people hi like me so that it's hard for whoever's trying to do this nonsense to me, whoever's trying to assassinate me, uh, will just have a harder time of gaining allies to do, do so with. Okay, let me see, we've got Savalex, Finland, Serial, and there's Serial and a really huge stack. Let's see, I'm just gonna keep building castles and make those the county capitals. And, yeah. Ugh. Oh, no shit, I was supposed to stack up for a war fund and I forgot about that. So, but that, uh, that's fine, it goes along with my classic plan. Step one, have a plan. Step two, forget you have a plan. Step three, find up a new plan. Step four, forget that plan. Step five, do the original plan, but less efficiently. Yeah, it's, it's fine, it'll, it'll, it'll delay uh, us completing the war chest a little bit, but to be fair, it'll, it'll actually also speed up this stopping being a tribal county, and that's in in a, in a sense also pretty good. <sighs> Damn you, Finland! Why can't you just become Christian? Okay, this guy is willing to take a favor. He's frail, age twenty-four. I don't think 
I don't think this guy can actually do that much. He's not on the council and not going to go on the council. I think this favor is probably just fine to give out for 200 gold. Like, I don't think it'll bite me too bad. Okay, he gets pl he uses it to place himself on as a spy master on my council. <laughs> eh. Oh, that's actually quite irritating. At least he likes me a lot. So that's something. I'm not gonna hold hold grand tournament. I really hope I actually do fix some of this nomad agitation. Because nomad agitation is just so stupid. Because the horse lords also need to randomly regain their lands for no effort on top of everything else they have. Uh, stupid horse lords. Horse lords has discovered a man of great military talent called Hans who is willing to serve in my ranks. Hans, the opinion of Emperor Change 50. Oh, that's, well, that's a decent commander. Can't say I'm actually really upset about that. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I would like five hundred gold, gold for her, oh for giving away a wife I do not give a shit about anymore. Sure, she was related to a dead, like Byzantine emperor, emperor. But damn, five hundred gold, like oof, oof. That is actually a really hefty price for for a lady. Yeah, I can apparently claim a weak claim here. Does that guy have my dynasty? Nope. Okay, I finished, okay, I finished completing the war ch chest in good time anyway. So I guess that means I have time to go in Veliki Ustung and Atna make a castle here as well. This one will be ready 25th of June and 15th of March, both in 1218, essentially two years. So. Honestly, that's actually not too bad. And then I'm probably going to get a capital upgrade. Yeah, get keep four. That should enable my capital to bid to have plenty of troops, which is good. And it's also got a, a fair amount of prosperity is happening in my ca in my empire over here, which is pretty good. And since I did complete that ambition, and we're probably not going to have war for a while anyway, I'm actually going to see the realm prosper. The many cons. Okay, the Mongolians are happening. The Mongols. Uh, the, yeah, and we have Temujin, Temujin, the, the crew of Mo the Mongolian Empire. But I think the Tuk the Tukluk are likely to just cancel these guys out. They're, uh, yeah, he's Tengri. Like honestly, these guys are likely to cancel each other out. I believe. Mm, yeah, that sounds about right. The, yeah, the Byzantine Empire's expansion has been weird. They've been going a lot more north than we usually see them do. And then they've, you know, they've lo they're losing bits of Turkey like they do, but th I've rarely seen a non-player expand this heavily into the north. Of course, last time when I was a player in the Byzantine Empire, I, uh, when playing the Byzantine Empire, empire my empire was essentially just a, a straight line through the entire world. Which may not have been the smartest, but I just found it funny to have a border like that. Uh, sure, I should wake her before anyone catches up. Nine eighty for the. This is the leader. The expected successor is has five hundred forty. And I have... how much member score do I have? 384. Ah, 50 safe and commissus, 300 base 10, has the diligent chase, bunch of duties, and I've... Mm, yeah, so essentially I am one of the highest, with the exception of Bishop Unkez and a couple others. Let me see, how old is he? He's like 63, I'm 54. What are my odds of assassinating this guy? I wonder. 130? A couple of sheep gifts out? Yeah, maybe I can assassinate my way up to being commissus or conversus. Think nothing of it, friend. 
because then I might actually be able to uh, get uh, to use a bunch of this power and preferable just stack a lot of it up to convert a lot of counties. Uh, sure, I will do penance. God shall be my companion. Ooh, he's improved the relations with the Russ. Okay, what are the relations? Plus 34. Okay, I'm going to offer a non-aggression pact. He is still tribal, which is fairly irritating, but... And especially since he can convert to feudal at any time. Time. So it is actually quite frustrating to see him just stay uh, a tribal for such, such a long period of time. He's taking the non-aggression pack, but he still won't take the demand. Okay, maybe if we... I'm not really willing to give him the designated regent. Do we have an artifact we don't care too much about? Not really. The Count of Romney. Yeah, sure, let's give him a county and... Yeah. That should do it. It's a county that I think is in his de jure anyway. Somewhere over here. Yeah, sure, here, here, here. It's in the middle of Bjarmia, which should be fine. God has shown me the light. Today has been a new, new day, a day of new insights and revelations. In my seclusion, I have plenty of time to think about my actions, my life, and my place in this world. Things I have never thought about before suddenly become so clear. Okay, that's actually quite good. If I get to do the whole penis thing quickly, that would actually be quite lovely. 232. Well, that's also not bad as, as an assassination score, just overall. Okay, we have a new pope. Does this pope dislike us or like us? Eh, just don't put that thing at me. It's like... The Pot negative five, give or take. Oh yeah, I forget. You can always randomly give you give the Pope a bunch of stuff. Like if you want to, you can just give almost everything you have to the Pope. I guess like if you wanna make really make sure you go to heaven, you can just like wait until you're almost about to die and then give all of your things to the Pope. Although mechanically in game, of course, that's horrible. Yeah, it's like unlike how. Yeah, unlike all all other independent rulers, who I can't just randomly give stuff. Did th that succeed? I'm looking forward to seeing. I could kiss that snake. Well, maybe not. Let's see. Am I the expected heir now? No, the expected heir is 463. I have 384. There's a bunch of people that are higher than me, but I could just keep going down the line. Like, how easy is it to assassinate these people? They're all barren level, and not with a huge load of intrigue. Yeah, let's just keep doing that. Damn, these are some cheap bribes. Let's just keep doing that. Okay, let's keep in like assassinating members of the order until we get up to Harold. God has shown me the light because I think a lot of the modifier is plus is priest. Joint existing defensive. Yeah, a bunch of people are joining with defensive packs against me. What's new? But yeah. But that's actually the thing. Th thing. Okay, it's. I, like, I'm not sure whether we're gonna complete the entire five years, but I'm kind of tempted to do it and just get the plus one stewardship, the plus five stewardship, and everything. And at that point, our threat should probably be low enough to the point where we'd be considering wars with people. And since nothing much, not much is happening, we're gonna up the speed to four. And we're still making a fair buck, buck to start to uh, upgrade our holdings, so that's actually not bad. So you're over a table, struggling to stay focused and keep your eyes open when your wife's interested and she crosses the room and inspects the war table over your shoulder. Perhaps a fresh pair of eyes might prove helpful, my dear husband. You don't think I can handle this on my own, or perhaps you are right. 
Zwenislav. I'm gonna say perhaps you you are right, Zwenislav. It's always good to have help. Your wife has received education in warfare, like yourself, so she quickly grasped the nuances of the problem as you explained it. The two of you are set to work discussing and comparing troop com compositions. Svenislav is the most competent strategist. Within the hour, you have laid the groundwork for a promising solution. A brilliant idea. Do you have any additional suggestion? Uh, leave, you, uh, us to, leave us to retire to the, let us retire to the cha bedchamber, my dear. Uh, hmm, do I want to fall in love? This is actually kind of interesting. Do I want to just make ourselves like us a bit better, or do the love thing? Because the love thing actually makes us a lot likelier to get an heir out of uh, an heir out of this woman, and it's probably not going to be the heir to our empire. But this puts her title in our dynasty, which is really good because this is a regular marriage. So I'm going to actually go with let us retire to the bedchamber, my dear. And yeah, 71 lover. Yeah, that's actually quite good. And now, actually, we need to also upgrade some other things. God has shown me the light. I'm just casually playing penance here. It's all gonna work out eventually. I'm probably gonna maybe stock up and just make a bunch of castle towns, try to get my income just to rise as much as I can. <sighs> Let's see, castle. For, I'm gonna upgrade castle walls because it's always a cheap upgrade that gives gives you continuous money. So it's, I always find think it's. <laughs> There's a small reason not to just keep upgrading castle walls in a lot of places, because it's one of the cheapest buildings to build, and it gives you a little bit of everything. Like, it gives you a little bit more levy, it gives you a little bit more money, so castle walls are, I think, just oh, most, most of the time nice to build most places. It also lets you get a lot of efficiency out of your time, because you can build, especially when your empire gets big enough so that you're building castle walls in a bunch of locations. See, God has shot. Okay, it keeps happening. Just God has shown me the light. God has shown me the light. God has shown me the light. Uh, I would like to like to just complete that eventually. Let me see. Borrow from the Jewish merchants. I can. What happens if I borrow from the Templars? Yeah, if you owe money to the Templars, they also give you the religious pity. No, and you need to have. Yeah, and then Knights Templar don't actually have 300 money. Finally! Oh, after such a long time, you stubborn Finns have finally, finally let this happen. Finally, Finland is a nice Catholic land where we can have castles. Isn't that nice? And then we get a city that we can do out, and it's going to generate tax, and it's going to be super nice. Here we're just building the castles, and here now... I feel the Nomad Agitation Land, even though it's not directly in our, dem or in our, in our domain, is probably going to be better than you trying to bother with most of the other things. So instead we're going to go to Zirian and hopefully convert... Uh, it's, a, it's Sunni territory, which is harder to convert. <laughs> and it doesn't have any Catholic around it, so it's a bit awkward. But yeah, actually I do wonder, what is the... Religious authority. It's it's not as high as our, ours, though, and we might get lucky and convert that early, and thus increase the spread of Catholic ca of Catholicism just in general here, general. And at least we have the King of Rus. At least he might be secretly. <laughs> uh, he might be secretly Orthodox, but at least he's publicly Catholic. So that's something. God's blessing upon thee, Commissus Edwig. We are pleased with your progress during the time you spent in contemplative seclusion. You've taken a great step on the path of the rule of Saint Benedict. Hereby, I declare your mission completed. You honor me, Converses. Yeah, my powers are invite holy tactics and teach virtue. Can I teach virtue? I can also secretly convert to Arth Orthodox, but I don't think that does does me a lot of good. Does it have to be the same religion? <coughs> Oh, I can teach. Anyway, I'll teach. Oh, that's actually good. I'll teach my heir some virtues. I'll also give him spiritual guidance. And, yeah. With that being done, Emperor Ed... Oh, let me see. My wishes to become better Catholic has led me to the rule of St. Benedict. Following in the footsteps of St. Benedict, I have realized the value of kindness. Every display of compassion brings us closer to a pure, gentle, holier world. Praise be to God. 
Ooh, kind is actually not a bad trait to have. Have it, yeah. It, it may give the negative intrigue, but the plus diplomacy is, I think, it is worth it. Just don't point that thing at me. Let me see. Can I not sort by member score? That's actually a little inconvenient because that actually would be better. Because I'm essentially trying to assassinate my way up to having the highest member score. And with 380, I think there's a few more members that have higher than me, but. Eh, it would, it's a long stretch of assassinations, but eh. Eh, okay, our, our king vassal has created another duchy, that's fine. We have not have to had any troubles with factions for a real long while. Mm, I should start reading the book. I hate snakes. Okay, that's not great. If I have the... Vicious rumors and a bunch of other other negative modifiers. That's not great, but with, with diplomacy of 23, it it generally will tend not to be that bad. Ooh, and especially with the entire poetry thing, I'll get one more. Okay, kaboom. Yeah, like that's that's at least something I can do with my education time because possible inheritance is not really relevant because it's like a couple counties that I don't really need that are already part of my empire and they're not super they're, they're 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 fine counties but they're not super valuable to begin with so I don't really want to bother assassinating just to get them especially when my demon is almost full Ooh, harsh world family first to my half sister over here I'll actually invite her to court because I can marry her off, well, off her alliances, because uh, she is, because she is my half sister. Even though if K King Boson the monster, der is is her father, which was my, which yeah, it was the only Helmerstotter, which was my mother. What am I thinking? Manure. Ugh, damn it. Don't I have like, don't I? How much power do, do I even have to this plot? I have like 380 power, and it just keeps failing. Anyway, uh. I don't really... You're my half-sister, so you should be marryable for alliances even though you're out of my dynasty. Eh, it's fine. I'll just have her in my court. Yeah, and also, actually, my nephew is definitely marryable off for, for marriages when I need them, so that's actually quite good. A nice little thing to have in the reserve. 180 in Kiev or Kunigurder, as it's up in the named because I have a Nordic Nordic culture and a culture that own it, owns it that no one knows under the basically the name it's known up <laughs> known as up known as in up in, in those Scandinavian territories is Kunigurder, although it's actually sometimes just referred to as Kiev. Okay, some of the bigger people, but. Uh, king of Aragon, okay, it's, that's not the King of Hungary, because the King of Hungary is not in defensive pact against us. That's, uh, we don't care about a great tournament, we just don't. But we might actually tr try to pay back the money for the Jews, because mm, there are, like, a few th things that's actually quite annoying about that. Yeah, I'm gonna gain, gain the trade poet. I think that's actually quite decent decent to have, just for the plus one diplomacy, it really. Because having 25 diplomacy is, is just really good. Really solid. Same on such a nice carriage, though. Okay. 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 452. Two, three. Okay, maybe I should have not bothered. There are a lot of people that are ahead of me in the line of succession for the Benedictine Order. And, and, like, just having piety doesn't give you pure, pure score. Uh, yeah, is a priest is such a big one, 909 times, like, nine, like, plus, it's basically 10 times whatever you have just for being, being a priest, C priest, so, like, he effectively ha counts as having stewardship, uh, like, this guy effectively counts as having stewardship, uh, 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 as stewardship 36 for this purpose in the meantime, even though my stewardship is actually quite high. Um, 
climb over here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, just near the top. Yeah, even though I have, uh, even though I have like way more stewardship, total total stewardship, it it and way more traits. Just that one priest count count is really ring, ringing it apart. But eh, okay, maybe I'll never actually be the chief of that. Queen Ilva of England. That's actually quite fine. Everything's. Oh yeah, hey furry after six. Nice to see you. See, out to the, the see that I still have my one loyal follower here. And we're doing pretty fine. Like we're not doing much because we have so much threat that <laughs> declaring war on er anyone means we do. We're declaring war on everyone. Uh, and even though there, I think there are some a few wars that we could win regardless. Uh, I, I'm just waiting because I feel like I want to wait at least until uh, nah, uh, until uh, like until I can make wars that are just more efficient. Russian holy war for charisma. Interesting. You know, if he seeks, if he if he succeeds on that one, uh, power to him really. It like adds a county to the empire, but at the uh, the empire, and you know, sure, Russian the Russians will be a little bit more powerful in the empire, but I think they're already powerful enough. But I think we're more powerful in comparison with all the other lands that we have, so we don't have to quite worry about them getting a county or two yet, because like Scotland is still the most powerful. But the the good thing is, since we put him on the throne, he really likes us, because he wouldn't he would be a nobody if it wasn't for us. So he's very grateful grateful in, in that in that science. Which tells me that one of my commanders, Carl, has improved significantly. Okay, gain eh, gained some martial uh, got extra got an extra trait. That's you know nice enough for when we eventually go to war. Uh I think I'm gonna upgrade the castle town just uh, just because I wanna basically wanna make it easier to easier for my income to just get me to upgrade to keep upgrading more thoroughly faster. So that's why I'm basically doing that. Uh, Dovre, for instance, is I think also going to probably get upgraded Castle Town. Otham is probably... A, he can't get an upgraded Castle Town or a Walls. So maybe something when we can afford it. And we're still waiting on the castles to be ready here. Then this will basically be a mostly a castle terrain that will just have a tribal holding in there, and that's mostly fine. Okay, we have a streamer streamer count. Uh, uh, we have a viewer count of apparently five, which is relatively high for the stream. If we can just just get four more, then we'll have the record high. Let me see what do we got here. The, yes, and I gotta realize that currently not a lot of his lot is really happening, uh, specifically because we have so much threat. Oh, did one of the castles actually get made? I believe they did. No, I'll show you that yes, this, the other one. Hmm, what can we do about it? So basically, this became the county capital. We're gonna make castle walls there immediately. Like, we can hold this, we can make a new holding there. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure sure what to do about this holding. I'm, I'm tempted to just put it on a, on, a va on, on a barren vassal and just leave it. Yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do. I think. Actually, not while I can't spare the gold. Eh, God knows I show that I support the church. Yeah, I think I, th I think that's actually just what I'm gonna do. 25th, 5th of June, which is relatively soon, because it's just gonna be a while until I can convert it anyway. And when I get the religion, then probably can con get get build that or that, and then convert it convert to either a city or something else. So I think that's probably just what I'm going to do. Well, actually, although, which one of these, the, the actual tribal holdings are actually better? 3, 2, 3. For, like, the most important. 3, 3, 4. Yeah, okay, we're keeping that one, so we're going to basically turn that one into a, an independent tribal holding, which would pro pro probably be fine. Okay, but the thing is, we can still at least plant some seeds for what we're going to do eventually when we declare war. Because we're kind of at the point where trying to grab big claims is probably going to be 
at least fairly worth it. So I'm essentially looking at kingdoms with daughters. Actually, how is the pact between the, uh, the two of us created? Uh, marriage between Prince Jacob and Alsa. Okay, so that's... Is that one of his sons? Yeah. Okay, we not have, don't have a matrimonial marriage, so we won't have uh, men of our dynasty to claim the, to, with which to claim that. Uh, there's Stanislav of Croatia. Maybe we can get a marriage in Poland. Let's see. The Polish line of succession looks awfully weak. They have one fifth heir without any kids. The current guy is 55 with no kids. And no daughters. Actually, let's actually look at this for a little while. Hmm. Claimants. Berta, Queen of Poland, has a weak claim on Poland. Let's see if we can find anyone that has a decent claim on Poland to begin with. We don't care if it's a kid. Wait, isn't this the current Prince of Poland? Okay, I'm going to invite him to, to my court. He is sure. I might be putting someone that's called the evil on the on the Polish throne. Wait, is this just the heir to all of Poland? Let me see. I will grant him the Veliki Ustuk. Okay. Sh oops. I I lost him. Oh, that's fine. I can probably just find him the same way by doing this the same way I found him. Claimants. Look at the bottom there, Henrik, Prince of Poland, who is not married. He is heir to the Great Duchy of Greater Poland. Who is the heir to? Who is the heir to Poland then? Veliki Ustuk tribe. Eh, it's fine. Anyway, his, that that's wait. He is the heir heir, heir of the Duchy of Greater Poland. Okay, that's his heir, but the heir to the Kingdom of Poland is Josef Braniki. That's not Josef Braniki. Although, I can just claim Poland. That doesn't seem bad. So I can just make sure that he is on the throne there. Uh, yeah, like, if I lose, oh no, I lose a whole barony holding in the middle of the empire. It's annoying, but it won't be too bad. Uh, let's make sure that he's married to somebody, though. Is he already married? No, he's not already married. Why can't I marry him? Like, can you just not marry people that are hidden? That's probably it. But I think if I declare the war now and get it quickly, that I also prevent, protect basically all of his counties from the tribals, and I put a buffer between the tribals and the Holy Roman Empire, meaning that I can just slowly take over them as I need. And Poland does not look strong right now. They're, they have to, they have sure they have 10,000 troops, which is not bad, but they're fighting two different wars and they're a bit spread. And 5,000 of those are hired? Yeah, I think that's actually actually the what I'm doing. Claim Poland. Call in arms. Call in arms. Call well on arms and yeah, call in arms and Okay, we're already sending that one in. Like, sure, if he dies, dies, I'm, uh, dies, he, I might not get someone who is, well, like, again, again, that county is, uh, like, r if, if things happen wrong, that barony might get lost. And, honestly, that's something I can live with. Uh, the risk, uh, the risk is clearly outweighed, uh, outweighed by the, uh, the uh, by the potential rewards of this. Uh, but with the thing is, we, d we do annoyingly have to get troops there, and it's a bit awkward, but we can get a fair amount of troops into Poland, pull Poland through this, through, basically through the sea. Like, we sail over to here, to the Shyland area, and then we can get, basically get a lot of people there.
Well, maybe I was lying when I was saying nothing was happening, because an opportunity pr presented itself. <laughs> okay, Poland is not going to win this one. Uh, okay, uh, Poland, just face all of your neighbors and 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 the two largest em one of two of the largest empires in the world uh, and while you're not even the half of modern Poland good for you okay we're still gonna make sure that we at least get some of our own troops here uh, there you got one troop and the Shyland troops that is actually to be fair to that is a relatively large amount of troops that we're that we can call on a pretty short amount of time that's actually not bad like just the Swedish, Swe this just the Swedish and the Danish troops. Although Sweden is essentially Sweden and Norway, uh, and like you may think that's bad, but because uh, both, I believe both of them are under gavel kind, uh, they'll they'll get split up before too long, long while still being in within our empire. And I think that's actually quite fine. Like maybe I w maybe a, maybe if I get a fair load more powerful, I would want things to be more connected, but. For now, I think this is fine. Again, if we look at my score here and we look at my military, I can call way more troops. And if we look at my profile, I have access to like 30,000. But between my allies uh, and just... Okay, actually, I'm not going to do that. Just between my allies, uh, I don't allies, I don't... And, uh, and, uh, uh, and the troops I send over and the fourth 3,000 here, I'm already outnumbering. I just don't think I will need to send more troops. Because Poland has no friends to call upon. They're already dealing with two wars. And sure, they have some knights, uh, like some uh, not crusading knights or whatever to call upon, to uh, not use. But even with that in mind, they're still not going to do much. Oh yeah, we also got to remember to actually put commanders in there. I'm going to lead, lead the center army myself. Carl is going to be leading the right flank, and the left flank will be lead led by my uncle Alexandros. And those are some very competent commanders. Okay, morale will be a bit low, low, but that's fine. We're just not going to engage. Oh no! Swamunes, fuck, Finnish revolt. Where? Oh, 1,800 men. Oh, but they're all the way over there. Oh, that is kind of annoying. That is a little bit annoying. Actually, let me see. How many troops does this generate? It's like 1,300. Uh, these guys, that's not really anything. Finland is something, but not a lot. Get the Finland troops, but Cola probably has some troops. Okay, Cola troops, get that in there. Okay, we got 1839. Okay, actually, the, uh, we already raised the Shyland, but the Holstein armies. If we, yeah, if we do it like that, the Holstein armies. Yeah, yeah, this is. Eh. Might as well raise these while we're at it. At it. Mm, yeah, might as well raise these while we're at it. Like, this might be a little bit overkill, but I just want to make sure that the rebels are dealt with quickly. I just don't want to think about it. Okay, castle walls have been built. Let me see. Do I want to make anything else? Castle town or anything like that? Here, maybe we want to prioritize build like upgrading some of the bigger counties. Could make stables. Although Gildan, probably gonna make sure to have a. I think I'm gonna make castle town first, just to maximize on my future tax gains, essentially. Try to get my get that m money rolling in as quickly as possible. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna march for them for them straight there. And with these guys, we're gonna march the way down there, and then up there. Oh. Shift, come on. There we go. Remember to hold shift, kids, when you're trying to make custom paths. Yeah, that's, like, not a really a threat. Yeah, I think this actually is going to go pretty well for us. I mean, Poland, sure, doesn't actually have most of Pol of the Polish de jure, because the Polish de jure is pretty good. Actually, no, I forget. The Polish de jure is, is a lot smaller than I remember. But, oh, this is still a fair amount of land to just sweep in one war. 
Yeah. Uh, and for those who don't know how claims w actually, uh, okay, I think I'm actually just gonna siege. Okay, these guys are just gonna siege the capital. Actually, this this is the probably yeah. This is being yeah. Okay, actually, the main castle there was recently lifted from a siege, so we can assault that real easy and capture that for some easy war score. Uh, these guys, I think, are just going to stay in the capital and do a slow burning siege on these guys. That's probably going to be good. In the meantime, the big army over there gets gets a little bit of shit done. Uh, we're also going to remember to basically, you know, just send those ships away because we don't need them. Uh, Swim and Nesco revolt. Ugh. feels like the... Okay, I'm gonna slow the speed down to three, just because I have some troop movements that are going on that might be a bit annoying to rearrange without them. Be victory over there. Okay, now we're gonna march for that, because that army is gonna get crushed. Can they escape 24th of November, 29th of November? That's a, uh, that's fine. They'll escape, uh, a, like, a little bit after a little bit, and then we'll just grab and get them. Because I don't think they'll be able to get the, get this uh, made this up in the march. Because that'll be 8th of December versus 11th of December. Yeah, they can just do that without any help, and those guys can just start sieging. Let me see. Hmm. Yeah, I might actually order them to just siege this. Hey, hold up, Kaiser, he just sieged this. Uh, oh, that's actually great. Uh, I got the, l the, I got upgraded to the best, uh, nah, best military education, which actually is pretty good, because now my, the stats on this character are just insane, 25, 26, 18. That you are perhaps not spending appropriate time in Master of Theology, would like to encourage you to set, uh, theology. Mm, yeah, sure. Sure, I'll, I'll go to theology focus for a while. The Bible shall be my most foremost foremost companion. Let's see if I can teach my heir some more virtues. Uh, actually, let's see. Can I actually my council member here? Can I teach him a virtue? No, but I am going to send him a gift just to make sure that his opinion of me is good. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't change him out because he used a favor together, but at least he's getting some somewhat better at added. Hmm. Let me see. Like how much it costs. It's five minutes fifteen percent fertility, which is actually quite ir irritating. Which is one or one thing that actually makes it not too good to be in the Benedictine or orders overall is the fertility negative. But I honestly thought that it's probably not going to matter since I have enough kids, but now that I have a wife who I kind of want to have a kid to, in order to have future claims, uh, it makes it a bit awkward for that purpose. So between 15 and 30, I essentially have negative 30. Uh, sorry, does stress also do negative 30? I have negative 40 negative 40% uh, fertility, which is just not great. Oh yeah, and actually I was on family, so family was actually getting a 25. Ooh, humble, let me see. Monthly piety plus one, same pride. That's actually quite good. How much is my score in right now? Here I am, 383. Oh, come on, I have literally all of the things, and I'm just basically losing because this guy has the plus 90% modifier. Oh, actually, this guy doesn't. What? Why is he, does he get so 400 from Converses? What? I, but you only get 300 for... Oh, you can... Okay, okay, actually, no, I don't... Okay, okay, I can get up to Converses, apparently, or, like, is this Converses, and is this guy also Converses? Yeah, 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 head of the order, or, or, like, okay, okay, non-heads of the order can still be rank 4. Okay, so I'm actually going to try to stack up to 2,000 devotion to get that done. Whoops, that was a miss. That 
happens with us. Oh, never mind, their fort level is shed. I thought that was a bad assault, because I basically just misclicked it, but then it turns out their fort level was shit, and this was fine. Let's see, fort level 1.6, eh, yeah, let's just assault that. Ooh, that is actually quite good. If they'll just upgrade... Can you just... Can you just... Uh, this is so irritating, though. He probably won't upgrade it, even though he totally can't. Won't upgrade that to a castle, even though he totally can. That is super frustrating. Ford level two. Okay, Ford level two makes it a little less good to do that. But that's fine. The English are battering down their armies on the west. We're just slowly starting to siege stuff on the east, including the Holy Roman Empire, who is taking his piece of the pie. So this is just going to be all good. Oh yeah. Also, we got to remember to deal without revolt, the kids. Uh, Sure, take duty focus. You get united. Uh, spare commanders. Actually, I don't really need to be commanding anywhere else, I think, so. Just put me. Just put our best commanders in that, because the other thing is such a wash anyway. Uh, as I retired my chambers, I was shocked to find a copy of the Orthodox Bible in my bed. At first, I, I noticed someone had left it there with an, the intention to frame me, but then I noticed the little load on the left of the top open tome. I think you'll find this interesting. Please, give it a chance. Signed, a friend. Intriguing. I guess it cannot hurt a little bit. Uh, get rid of the... get 10%. Get Never. I will hide it where no one shall ever find it. Okay, I'm actually just a little bit interested, so sure. I'll leave reading the Orthodox Bible. That's not too bad. It's really only uh, only one another set of Christendom. It's not too bad. It's not heretical at all. <laughs> right, guys? Okay, we get the city, and this has Fort Level 2, so I don't really... Uh, so uh, reading, this has affirmed in my confidence in my own beliefs. Yes, because I am, I am a true Catholic. I'm not going to be converted to orthodoxy. But that's probably coming from a secret, uh, secret orthodox, which is probably either this guy or my wife, actually. I believe... Or no, no, my wife is actually an orthodox. But yeah, she, okay, oh yeah, she's a ruler, so I cannot... She's a separate ruler, independent of me, so I can't demand that she convert. Actually, that's actually true. I'm gonna try to make sure, just to make sure that vessels rank all. Of, let me see. Uh, there's a duke that's orthodox, but I can't do anything about it. hit that about that because that is a vessel under someone else. Leader of Home Girl of Guardian Revolt. Can't do anything about that. Or can I? Yeah, I can't actually, because it's a rebellion. And I can't do anything about the highest chief of Rustoff either. And yeah, basically all of the all of all of the Orthodox guys are under someone else, so I can't really demand any religion conversions off of that. They named Samuel one two and King two one two and into King one four. <laughs> Madness. I exactly. Exactly. Who would want to read the Orthodox Bible? The Catholic Bible is so much better. For, I don't know, reasons. I just want to stay Catholic. It's what my father was, and his father was, and his father was, and all that. I'm not going to get converted by someone someone snatching snatching a minorly different version of my holy book into uh, into my chambers. That's not how that works. Okay, that'll just get seized by itself. But at least we are conquering Poland at a very good rate. Okay, uh, we did that. Like, I've actually never actually read the Orthodox Bible, so if that's a, like, they named, named the Samuel and 1-2 and King 1-2 into King 1-4. Madness. Like, I don't know if that, like, like, I, I can, I'll believe you if you t tell me that that's, that, like, that that's one of the few differences. But I, I for honestly don't actually know the differences between the Orthodox and Catholic Bibles. Ugh, there's so much literal Eve. Even if it costs us a few men, it's fine, just to and the war faster. The only thing that annoy annoys me about this is that uh, we lost the prosperity, the, the essentially the prosperity quest quest off of this, but that's fine. Wait, usurp. 
Duchy of Mazopia? No, 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 that that's, doesn't make any sense. Why would I be able to usurp titles? Yeah, okay, that, that, that went away. That was just a little glitch. Because I'm not supposed to be able to usurp titles that are in, in my own empire, empire to begin with. And now we have Poland. Uh, did this, I'm, I'm wondering, did this lump us up uh, uh, into one of the power categories? I wonder. Like, did they actually get our realm size above the... Yeah, okay, to be fair, Byzantines have gone up and the Persians have gone down a lot by basically mostly revolts and... <laughs> wow. Oh. 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 Wow. Oh, that is... That is so awful for them. Oh, yeah, also the Mongolians have made really weird expansions, but that's, that's horse lords for you. Horse lords do things that don't make any sense and don't question it. Because horse lords are stupid. Let's see. Let's see what we can upgrade here. Not really a bit in, in a big hurry to upgrade any of these. Ofem, you can upgrade a castle town. I'm gonna upgrade a castle town. I just want to make sure that the money in my empire is coming at a fast pace. And that includes rem remembering to shut these off. Oh, Chemno. I'm wondering how many troops am I raising from Poland? 4,312. That is a feudal Romanov guy. He's got 800 plus 400. That is 1,200 garrison. If we get the Scandinavians to land in there, that's 1,700 more. If we get the the Holstein, the Holstein Shyland. Yiland combo to show that is actually not a lot at the moment. Okay, we're gonna wait until we do anything like <laughs> like that. Basically, if, if this was a tribal, I would probably just go for this county because just land there and take it would probably be pretty easy. This one's orthodox though. He's not de jure in any in in any of the counties though. Actually, maybe he'll marry to someone of my... Actually, let's check. Can we get anyone? Church Hall. Hey, Qatar. Invite... Sorry, married. No. Actually, how... Let me see. Actually, is there any young kid that we can grab here? That's, like, eh, old enough. I'm gonna see if we can have join court. Yes, that's 48 year old one. That's that's not really good enough. Her heir is the Grand Princess Favrona the Wise, which is the Duchess of Gaelic over here. Ah, oh, okay, okay. This isn't independent. This is in these two. Okay, that was why I couldn't offer bachelorization. It's mostly false religion. I honestly think the false religion modifiers for Christian to Christian should be a bit lower than this, because this is ridiculous. Because, like, 3, 4, 10. So power and false religion canceling out each other, but not my issue of foreign and foreign affairs is just killing the possible possible diplomatic take take off this. Yeah, but he's in. Yeah, they're in the the basically in the in the uh, no, defensive pack that I'm guessing pretty much everything is in. Okay, not everything, but basically everything that isn't my ally. Okay, most things that are, that aren't my ally, because uh, yeah, Byzantine Empire isn't. But Byzantine Empire is really big, so they probably are one of the few people that can really take me down, and I have. A, a duchy claim for that I don't even want to push there, so we're gonna probably have a little peace for a little while. Oh yeah, we. Oh yeah, I made a hospital here. That's actually pretty nice. It's expensive to do anything more to a hospital, so we're probably not going to do that for a while. Oh yeah, I forgot to do this. Or actually, no, I didn't forget. I just didn't. There's a difference. Actually, I wonder. Oh, 
this guy turned it into oh yeah because he he's the king of Poland because <laughs> he yeah it's 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 his summer home or winter home or whatever you want to call it you know just a little place where you can go up in the middle of Russia and have a castle there uh, that's not too unreasonable anyway uh, I'm going to take a little back bathroom break I'll be right back. And we're back. Now we've actually conquered Poland too, so honestly this has been a pretty good 150 years. From two counties to... I don't really want to bother to count that. <laughs> so I guess that has turned out pretty well, but... Uh, I am tempted to... Uh, I, would take so much I would take a fair amount of tyranny if I did that though. If I revoke 
the chieftain of Siran, 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 turned it into a castle because I just want to make sure, oh no, it's, yeah, because it is Catholic. It turned, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, I just don't care, I don't care, it's, it's, it's gonna be fine, I can, I can recover, after, recover from one revoke thing. Uh, and Chortiza, Chortiza, Titsa has doesn't have the castle dashed. Okay, I'll actually sponsor this guy to build that. But did Kopier have the Kopier has the stone fort, so oh sorry, not that guy. This this guy can go there. Okay, and in the meantime, don't don't worry, guy. I know I know I know you may not like it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it right back. I'm gonna give it right back. It's all it's all good. It's all good. Upgrade to castle. Go city to just to somewhere. Or actually, he's going to hate me anyway. Let me see, knight thirty-seven. Title preserved for the county of Syrian. And let's just go with the county of Zirian. And let's just give it this straight back to him. And now it's a castle and we don't have to worry about the nomad agitation. And this actually might turn him feudal if he turns this into his main into, into his main thing. Ooh, go ahead and castle the walls. Let's build the castle the walls as well. And if we can convert Cope here in a sizely enough matter, that should be also be fine. Uh, if Islam is just seeming very strong right here, but Tangri is getting pushed maybe a little bit by by the Mongolians, but we'll see how what happens. Queen Ingrid of Sweden has declared the Swedish upland a digital war. Yeah, poor upland. <laughs> I, I I think the character that was yeah the character was it's it, it's this guy's dad this guy's dad used to I if I remember correctly be the emperor of uh, the emperor of Scandinavia before he took it away from him yep no to guess killed the big one is dead yeah yeah he's he's the, he is dead he was elected and then I had to wait for the usurper to come with his claimant and reclaimed the emperor the empire because I actually did I did also found it because the empire the like because the computer rarely forms the empire of Scandinavia by itself I don't remember I haven't remember having seen that happen once Kara uh, join the existing defensive pact yeah 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 all join in a defensive pact against the supreme conqueror yeah yeah whatever It's a lot of people in it, and I believe the thread level is yeah 90. It's stuck. It's it's stuck at 99 essentially. Yeah, how long will it, will it take for it to go away forever? Uh, 406 months. That's that's only about 30 or 40 years or so. But that is actually why we have to be a little careful with the wars we take, because we have to kind of take big wars at the t at the same time if we can. Although. Let's look at our defensive backs again for a second. Can we conquer France away from them? Do we or do we have a defensive back with France? We do not have a defensive pack with France. Are there any claimants that would like to join our court that have it's a weak claim, but we can marry her to someone of our our dynasty and try to get that back. Uh, the war is Actually, we're in a stage where we, weak claims can be pressed. We are going to be power-hungry assholes and seize upon this very opportunity. So we're going to invite her to our court. And then preferably marry her off to someone of our dynasty. This random Irish woman, and then we're going to make her marry... Can we, eh, can we patrol her? Okay, okay patrol is good enough if we can. Mm, that's actually true, I can't, because she's a woman, I can't randomly grant her titles. 
which is, I admit, a problem. Are there any male males that I can convince at least? Let me see. Yeah, never mind. This is not someone who we wanted to, to try to convince. Marshall and San Diego, let's say, invite to... Can I not invite him to court? No, no, he's the Prince of France. Hmm. Yeah, so we can push for her title. I believe. Or can we? Can we not? Because I thought I think you, I thought you could because of let me see let's let's look at this again. Or hasn't she not, has she not accepted? Now she's in our court. She has a weak king claim like you to female orders, regencies, titles that are being contested in a claim or succession war. Okay, let's see succession. Isn't this succession war? Prince eight's waits claim on France. Yeah, I should declare war. Should be able to claim France, right? Eh. eh, never mind. I'm probably not gonna do that anyway. I don't want to betray f betray Atna. Let me see. Defending against Genghis Khan, Temujin, the cruel and Mongol invasion of Mesopotamia. Okay, there's this. Uh, this is a knight. Nice this is essentially a. Yeah, he's only helping to defend it. He's not. She's not actually being attacked herself. So that's that's absolutely fine. Okay. Do I do not want to be? I do not want to be celibate. Dedicate a mass to chastity. Sweet Helen's opinion of Emperor Edwig. Despise chaste. Despise chaste. Gain ten piety. Gain five prestige. Think. Think God quietly in the chapel. I'll, I'll, I'll dedicate a mass to charity, to chastity. Get a little bit of piety. I f ooh! I guess I prayed before the altar. I was suddenly filled with an overwhelming sense of love. Crying with joy, I knew that I am not never, never truly alone. God is always with me. Oh, and without stress, this is a truly great character, actually. And I, I really hate that that in this game that you're just stuck with that epitaph. No matter what happens, this is now your epitaph. Your Id your Edwick the Usurper, regardless of what happens, or even if you've been a legitimate king for, like for all your life mostly, but you did take the king by force, so you're known as the Usurper. I I, I think there should be a system for being known as something else, because like there isn't the automatic system for uh, King for William the Bastard, which w which will be his his epitaph to begin with, but if he wins the uh, basically wins the battle of the battle of 10 actually uh, the war of 1066 and takes over England, he will be renamed into uh, King William the Conqueror, which I think is, some, is something a system that should be somewhat of a system should that that does it does it to more general and not to more general normal characters as well, not just to the historical ones. Like, maybe not as, as specific as that, but I still feel it's odd. Uh, oh, okay, well, the castle town. I still think it's very odd that up not, like, you could have a ruler, like, I think one of the best examples is uh, Emperor Trond the Careless, is that even though he ruled for, like, 50 years, that, uh, that de delivered a heck of a lot of success to the Empire, uh, and he even formed the empire and did all these great things. He's still known as the Careless for some reason, which was an epitaph he earned after, I think, about t I, uh, less than five years of being the king of. Uh, after I think five, after less than five years of being the king of Norway. And then at the end of his life, he's formed this empire that has become this sort of stable, great, em great power, and he's still known as the Careless, which feels just weird. Okay, would be nice. Let's see, do a do a little close to that. Uh, that king courtier. Uh, no, we're gonna patrol this one to Burho. Yeah. 
but I do still want a pact of non aggression for at least a little while. Uh, for her, do I have any women that I can marry off? Oh, yeah, I don't accept that one. Yeah, yeah, strictly she's too old. And this guy has one heir. Okay, can I just okay? Can I just give him somebody that this is a good selection for him? No. Okay, he's just gonna have to figure that on his own. Cause I actually do want him to have a have a stable succession. It's down to one, so it should be over soon. The Duke of Man is trying to clean with Andrew Colby. Eh, Scottish nobles trying to interfere a little little with each other. Fine by me. Keep or keep finished in Edna Holstein. We see excellent. Okay, that's actually quite good. Uh, we can get a barracks. We can try to stay safe or something, or we can just try to do the strategy of trying to build the castle wall walls, and the castle walls, and those sort of things. It's basically, just money generating upgrades and focus on those before that. Who is this one again? Why do I care? <laughs> it's a 62-year-old peasant woman that has an actually she has a noble bastard of my dynasty. Okay, okay, that makes a little sense. Uh, let me see. Just the other day I was going to cut Count Ivar of Akrifus and my courtier. Eh, scandalous. They must be exposed. Eh, I smell profit. Like, it's not going to be a lot of money, but I might as well. Stooping can be so rewarding. Yes, yes, I would like to marry the Princess of Hungary. Hmm. I'm gonna say, if writing is frivolous, that's stupid. While I enjoy the template, just the metaphors, they seem a bit forced. Eh, I'm missing more the comforting verses, uh, verses of faith. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. I can now become converses, and becoming a converses of the Benedictine Order is quite great. Prince trying to marry, okay. Construct a new church somewhere, sure. Yeah, this is the new... This is the leader, the Conversus. Okay, I lost the power, but... Am I not gaining the rack? Or will it take a little while for them to consider me? Building a church in various places is probably going to be not too expensive. I'm not going to hold a grand tournament, it's just not worth it. You can be raided, I don't give a fuck. It is by privilege. Uh, church here is 250, yeah sure. Uh, nonsense, this brilliant work in the world needs to see it. Loses 55 gold. Yeah, just the plus one diplomacy. Get up to just keep my diplomacy above the 24 range. Make sure that a lot of people like me. The tribal vassal king, Gavel of Rus. Oh, that is actually quite good. Now this guy's finally feudal, which is actually just makes this uh, ho ho this makes Russia a whole lot more stable for me. And it's gonna make it's gonna bleed out, and eventually they're almost all of them are going to be feudal, which is just good. Let me see. Kilpier has level 4, but we don't have the religious conversion. How much power does it take to use the convert county power? Which is just really good. He appreciated my effort at least. It, I think it costs a lot of power. I think like a thousand or something. Indeed. The city of Tambov. Ooh, this is a city though. Oh, oh, he actually just became feudal on his own. That's actually quite good. Okay, we still have agitation in Chortiza and in Desht Ichpach. Desht Ichpach doesn't have it nearly enough, so we're gonna go over here, convert these guys, and may have that'll turn out A-OK, -okay, probably. It's got a hospital, though, so that's something. Oof, and after that finish, we can just convert that straight off the bat.
with Joritsa and everything. We have a lot of district claims. Many of which we do not want to claim because it's specifically with big empires that if we're doing wars with, we want to make sure they're for bigger claims than just a county. Okay, Russ is probably dealing with that. Or is Russ doing another war? Okay, they're fighting against a Russian revolt. I can't demand religious conversion because they must be holding a temporary title. I don't want to bother. I don't want to bother. I'm going to actually try just going to have him do peace with Russ because I, I prefer this guy to stay as king specifically because he is at least openly Catholic. Oh, okay. And now he's gonna like me. And and also I get a positive modifier that gets to stay around for a lot. Oh, yeah. So this is looking to be pretty good. Even when those plus 40 modifiers fail for improved attitude or like improved relations, if the fail fail, it's still gonna be fine. The Convert County has devotion of a thousand. I just need to gather up to a thousand devotion and then it's all good. And I can... Oh yeah, big yeah, okay. The King Stephanos of Scotland has inherited Kingdom of Scotland. Uh, and other titles, okay. He's got a bunch of kids, and they're all of my dynasty, so, you know, Scotland can just be stable like that, and it's all good. Okay, I'm gonna need a new marshal, though. Prince Alexandros, my uncle. That's actually seemingly pretty good. And we're actually going to research military tech, try to keep that up. 2022-20. Okay, we're still falling behind in tech in comparatively to the Holy Roman Empire and uh, and several other places, which isn't great, but there isn't a whole lot we can do about it. Uh, has refused the purification of Chief Timber. Okay, he's just gonna win that revolt. That's like, the Russians will just fight amongst themselves this time. That's fine. Tease, uh. How much money am I getting? 40 month, 40 gold a month. So, okay, we just gotta wait until I have enough money to build a single temple. Yeah, okay, castle walls are finished. Actually, that's actually a fair point, just to try to push the wealth of my capital. Maybe I sh you should just stack... It's only 277? That's actually not that much more than th than in the other place, so I'm going to have to make a temple in my capital. I'm not going to hold a grand tournament. I'm not going to expel the Junichi, though. I'm not going to do any of the, these things. She's 25. Can't you just cheat on me or something? Just, I just want you to have a kid that is at least pr that I can just say is of my dynasty. I don't care if it's actually mine. Ugh, damn it. Okay, can I change focuses again? How long is it until you like change focuses again? 12, 23, in three years. Olympus Earth, we're ending. Yeah, but to be fair, it makes sense that I'm not having a lot of kids, because this is 15, and then I have, yeah, somewhere around 50, 40 or negative 40 or 50 fertility, which is, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll say it's not great, but since I have, a, a, like, two sons and three daughters, it's not too bad. And this daughter is even the king-queen of Sweden, and she hates my guts, mostly because I revoked her honorary title, and she wants control of literally everything. She's a greedy little. She's a greedy little girl. I'll give you that. Well, I'd like say she's little, but she's like 30 years old. Yeah, 30. Yeah, her daddy's re reaching 60 though. Uh, steward. Uh, yeah, I'll be courtier of Scandinavia, and you're actually going to also research economic techs in my capital because I really want to start pushing that. Like, at least I am ahead of, like, the counties that are around it. And Holstein is the pinnacle of the Scandinavian Empire, but that's uh, currently not saying much. And I'll build a, t build a second temple. Uh, also, i got to remember to maybe change some obligations around. I think I'm just going to... 
Yeah, I don't care about any of these right now. I'm just gonna tax the shit out of the church. I'm just gonna leave nobles being being the primary source of troops. Yeah, when I go over my l limit, then I'll you know give that one out. Wardwa. You're a tribal county. One county tribal county. Yeah, but I don't have any claims on it, so... And because they're Christian, can't actually do much about that. Let's see, 370 piety. They're feudal. They're feudal. These guys are tribal. They have but Yeah, I think we can probably take these guys out to the war. Oh, never mind, they're not in pitted. Oh, oh, they're just part of Lithuania. Never mind. Uh, we'll have to get rid of it, Lithuania, eventually. It's just a blight upon her borders. Hmm. Maybe we can actually convert into this somewhat. Castletown has been built in Piraz. And then let's follow that up by building castle walls quickly. Because, yeah, with my stewardship modifier, just each one of those buildings is just generating a lot more money than it would for a lot of other characters. Because my stewardship is, like, 20. Oh, three stats above tw at 20 or more. Mm. That does feel good. I'll, I'll, I'll have to admit that. Oh, yeah, although... Stupid. Uh, stupid. Stupid spy master. Eh, maybe that 200 gold wasn't worth it. Left the defensive pact. What is my threat down to? My threat down is to 96%. Yeah. I sell the prayer meditation. Eh, bah, I'll get over it eventually, I think. I'm reaching the age of 58. Let's see. Mm, yeah, I do not want that. You're one of my better heirs right now. There's. There's. Prince Wolf is. A, oh, never mind. We cannot have Prince Ulf because he is in the Norton Knights Hospitalier, or sorry, yeah, the 220 Royal Order, so we definitely can't have that. So actually, he's my only male heir at left. Left. I do have Agnotic, Cagnotic, Elective. Can I? Yeah, he's getting quoted so much more than anyone else. That, you know, he's probably just going to be my heir. Yeah, his mom was, I believe, uh, from one of the Horse Lords, I believe. Or no, actually, she was like one of the Spaniards that converted instead of getting conquered. King Gavri of Russia. Okay, the kingdom of England. Our alliance that we have with King England is boiled down. Is the little kid on the throne? We still have the alliance with that. They're not in the defensive pact? Is there any way we can use this? I think we will. I think we're going to make a major expansion if we succeed. Okay, they joined the defensive pact. Never mind. Okay, if they joined the defensive pact, I, but if they joined the defensive pact, I think we probably just want to be allied with them. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll betroth the king to one of my nieces. That should pr probably do it. Basically, our wi uh, sadly, our window of opportunity for having a claim there was just not big enough. But keep him in my court just in case, I think. Because, like, if our alliance suddenly breaks down, then there might be a time before the defensive pact is over that we can get rid of them and, you know, just take all of England. Ugh. It's so hard to peacefully use our people. Not my de jure liege. Not my foreign cul foreign culture. Like it would take a few conquests. I would need to take, like, basically, if I kept, could get up to like the six or so counties that it would take, then it wouldn't be too bad. But until then, eh, we probably need to get to 
higher legalism and such. We can actually probably change the inheritance a little bit. No vessel, we can get electric gal kind of primogeniture. We don't have uh, yeah, we don't have there's one of these sort of things. If has come with enabled Yeah, we don't have Imperial Administration, so we can't get Hey man, how's your save going? Uh, my save is going pretty well. Uh, believe it or not, uh, in this playthrough, I started out as Iceland. Uh, and now this is our empire. We have most of Scandinavia, a lot of Russia, and po we have Poland, and we have Scotland. So it's actually going pretty well, I think. Uh, and this uh, is all the growth I've been able to get in 150 years. Uh, well, well, closer to 160 now, but that's honestly not bad. Okay, we're making more castle towns, get that money flowing in. And we have the church. Oh yeah, the hounds are now a thing. Let me see. It's going to take me 11th of June, 12, 12, 12. Okay. So it's going to take next, it's going to be at next year. We're going to get, okay, we're getting raided, but we don't care. We do not want to bother with sending anyone to do or do anything about that. Hmm. Just in case that our alliance gets rid of, uh, I think I'm going to, let me see, he has a weak claim. I think I'm going to try to just claimant mine for a lot of the bigger titles that are available. That's a Merchant Republic, right? Do Merchant Republics have claims, I wonder? Yeah, they don't actually have claims, so actually we can't do use that to try to grab them. French France's rebellion is not a good thing for them. I can't try to like take one of their wars to try to claim claim tours, but I don't think it's actually pretty good. Koza, okay. Some random person got converted over to Christianity. Let me see, can I upgrade into the Itzaho? Yes, I think it's probably best for us to Get stables. Yeah, get stables. Get more cavalry out of it. Make that capital capital at least more a bit more militarily valuable. It is generating like fourteen hundred troops right now, so that's not too bad, but it could be better. And we're like thirty five when we can generate like thirty five thousand men, which is not bad. Hmm. Which we have Holy War for Mari. How much is that? 4,000. That's 1,500. Yeah, I think I'm actually just going to take this. Going to go here, here. Okay, that's not really relevant. It's mostly the Russian troops that are going to matter in this one. But I am going to put place myself and my two best generals here. Basically, because they don't have any other counties, these guys guys are going to get beat back before it matters. Because they're not going to directly engage me. They we're just going to straight up assault their uh, assault their uh, primary county before it matters, and then we're just going to get a grab a county out of the deal. We have too much threat anyway. Actually, Volga, Volga, Bulgaria. Yeah, it's like uh, six county territory there. That's a big kingdom. I think it's just going to be easy to take. It's otherwise going to get eaten up by horse lords or something. So it's probably better to just take it right now. Yeah, we're doing that the right way. They're going to occupy, try to occupy here and here, but it just won't matter. We're just going to assault and just tell them that's it. Okay, all the no is all the nomad agitation gone? Kopir, Despa, Chorizo. That's actually pretty good. Okay, now we don't need to worry, since we don't need to worry about that, I'm going to convert more important territories. For instance, I'm going to convert the Monothlete. Or whatever, or maybe, let me see, this is three, almost, like if I get the 140 gold, which is going to happen soon, I can create the castle and then just upgrade. Or actually, maybe, maybe this thing. Maybe I pay 140 upgrade upgrade this and this, uh, and after that I can just have a pretty dope city. Having a pretty dope city does not seem like a bad idea. Gonna assault this straight up. 
they actually don't uh, don't have a huge amount of guards in that one to begin with. Okay, they started a battle. This could actually end pretty bad. There's not there are the mainstay forces though. I think we're gonna be able to defeat and assault them before it matters, but this this war is going to be pretty annoying. We're gonna get people are a lot of random people are just trying to occupy a bunch of weird stuff there. So that's actually not too bad. Yeah, like those guys are not gonna try to attack us, so we're just gonna then assault them. Immediately. Oh yeah, they didn't recover morale either, so that's actually quite great. Wonderful news, we get Amber Crown. Is Amber Crown is the Amber Crown better than the current crown I have? I have engraved crown, Amber Crown, plus 0.30. Better prestige, better vessel thing, yeah, it's just better. I'll put on the amber quantum crown. Or is that is that the one? Sure not equipped. Unequip. And equip. Saints favorite you don't have to equip them. I have both both a regular weapon and a ceremonial weapon. And so my treasury is actually looking pretty good. Most of this has been <laughs> looted from tribals. Which is to me a little bit odd that the, some of the, uh, the treasures of the Scandinavian Empire are almost entirely looted from, from, but not all of them. The, not the Saint's finger bone. And I think I made this battle axe. Did I create it? Tenth, eleventh of June. I, I believe. Let me see. The covetous clown. Several rumors have been circulating about me lately. With the lack of effort, I've been finally trying to hive chief Fortunado of Ugra. But why? I put you in power. I, I made you everything you are. Why would you do this to me? Okay, and they keep attacking me with troops, but then they s they think I'm just winning, gonna win. Then even if they're after the reinforcements show up, it's just gonna be a slaughter. Like, on top of having better troops and more troops, I just have, <laughs> like, three really insane generals. Well, two really insane generals and one good one. Four, three... Okay, I think we can assault this, and just after we succeed on that, we just automatically win the war, so the casualties just won't matter. Yeah. Like, it's going to be pretty costly, but who cares? A few hundred Russians died, we win. We have our peace, we enforce the demands. We take this away. We put the church back in there. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Let's swim us go. Okay. But we can convert that to a castle immediately when we have the... Immediately when we have enough devotion to just convert something, which is going to happen essentially immediately immediately when this church is made. So that's actually pretty good. Actually, maybe we want to build something in the meantime here in Mari. Like, because that will actually be mustering grounds. That's actually built to become Keep 2. Yeah, keep two seems pretty good, actually. It's 1,370 days, though. Uh, is keep two worried, worth waiting that, that long for? Same thing, it's the same question with either one of them. Because uh, this one is going to be made next year. I believe the... I believe the temple here is going to be made 11th of June, 121212, 12, 12, which is next year years, it's just like six months, which is like 150, 160. yeah, I, it's not going to be worth the time, I think, I'm just going to, I'm just going to ignore the fact that I could, could make a better, better holding out of that one, but out of here, I'm probably not going to ignore that here, I'm going to actually get uh, market city, I'm actually going to make a market city, it'll, it, it won't give me that much money, but I think I want to turn this eventually into a city, and and after I get get to convert, that will turn out that out, out pretty well. 
Uh, Geraldo joined the d existing defensive pact. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead, join the defensive pact against me. I'm the bad guy. Sure, whatever. Because essentially, I think, I think at this point, is isn't it just still still at 99? Yeah. And it's just encompassing most of the world, isn't it? Yeah. Like, with the exception of those that are really big or already my Edna, already my allies. Uh, Edna allies, it, it's essentially just everybody. Charisma, this is another tribal one, though. It's gonna be stuck at 99 for a while, anyway. Does this just to make sure this guy is independent? He has no other titles. Might as well. How many troops do I have from here? Two, three thousand. It's about two thousand in garrison. He'll be out 9th December. Oh, well, why am I sure about that? I can only raise 2,900 troops. And he's like 2,500 troops. And I don't really want to wait until like some of the Scandinavian, like some of the uh, Kiev troops or like, these troops are just not that much. It's like 170 because they're just so recent holdings and 149. It's just basically not going to be really enough. Or well, actually, if, well, no, nah, I just don't think it's worth it. I'm seeing you put, I can hold the Grand Tournament, but I'm not going to. Okay, let's see, Gwydan. Let's make Castle Castletown there here. And that's all good. Oh, it's all good in the hood. Okay, I'm just gonna not bother with those. I don't think an important announcement has shown up in quite a while. Yeah, this this is a bit of an ugly border gore core we've got going on here. But Honestly, it's it's not as bad as oof. Yeah, the border go over here. We have the Mongolian Empire just stretching by this tiny, thin little line all the way over to here, here, and then we have just have this whole whole mess. Yes, but Scandinavia is for the most part not too bad. There's a little bit here in the center, but for, for the exception of that, it's not too bad. Actually, though, ooh, we've had some split ups from here. Ugh. He has a bunch of, like, non-tribal holdings, though. Actually, how good is their fort, though? 4, 2, and 08. Okay. Okay, this guy only has 2. But he, ha he has 8 800 men with raise, just 3,000 men from there straight. The Lithuanians, though, they can probably raise a decent amount of troops, but probably not before we just take this and... <laughs> fort level 0. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Wait, they have 6,000 men there? Oh, because they have the Teutonic Tectonic Order also to fight with. And 6,000 men. Hmm. Can I kibash that before, before, before the rest of that matters? I should have looked at that more closely. Forty-seven hundred from there, and if we put the capital troops, this is good. Like we're gonna get a victory out of this. It's just gonna be a bit more expensive than he thought it was going to be. Two hundred thirty-seven. That's more than enough ships. It's just going to be a tiny little bit more expensive than we thought it was. It's still going to be a success. I I hope. But the good the good news is that even if we just surrender, it's only gonna be. Oh, never mind. It was not proportional depending on each. It was only proportional on us, so... Actually, never mind. It was, it's, it's pretty bad if we lose, actually, but... I, I think we can... I think we can win. Oh, never mind. The, okay, those were pro some of those were probably just the raiders that are just over there. But, eh, let's just bring... Actually... Okay, given what I'm seeing here, I was just I was just being freed over nothing.
Yeah, I'm just gonna... Let's just disband these troops. These are probably going to be unnecessary. And if they aren't, uh, that's gonna be a, a more troublesome war than I thought it was. But, uh, but just, just if even if I just get the first tribal holding, I can get a white peace war, like a white peace deal out of, out of it, if I would like. And I think that's going to make this good enough. I know the Russians are a bit pissed because they keep raising their troops. Uh, it's too bad. Okay, no, we're gonna have to wait until they're over there. Then we're gonna disband the boats because we do not want to pay the upkeep. Yeah, we want to pay as little upkeep on the boats as we possibly can. Okay, they're having a relatively even match there. Then first the Russian troops show up with the Swedish troops just a few weeks, couple of weeks behind them. But that, it's it's still fine, nice to get that rush because it's going to be able to reduce the amount of time we're gonna wait until we assault, especially for the church. That's going to be pretty useful. Because now we're going to try to uh, slash down the tribals, essentially. Because we really want to make sure that this zone is just pure, nice and pure Scandinavian, instead of the disgusting, filthy, pagan tribals that we're seeing right here right now. It's just, it's just no good. Just look at, look at how ugly colors they use for their borders. They're like brown, red, like puke green. They're not this nice little baby blue that we got here, and that's something we, that we need to fix. Okay, it's only two days for the first assault. This is kind of not going to take much. This is going to, like, yeah, again, just one day. And the same thing here. Because this, if, if basically, if we don't take this, it's going to get absorbed in one of, in one of, within one of the larger, uh, in one of the, into one of the larger, larger ones, and that's just going to be annoying. I can't upgrade to a castle. Uh, I'll just I'll just make this a new vassal. It's it's fine. Uh, I have a tribal vassal in surge. That's that's fine. Whatever. Yeah, this is mostly of those announcements. It's just these are the people that have just decided to join the war. Although with only 500 men and this amount of piety and only one county. It, even though this w might prove similarly costly, I think we're going to wait a little bit until just some of the random armies are out of it, and then we're going to also attack Zimgal. Zimgal is being defending against Trakian. Yeah, yeah, we don't want those to be absorbed into the greater Lithuania. We want these independents that are over there, we want to make sure we, that we get them. Okay. Now we're going to do it that way. We're, we're going to do this exact same strategy. We can do a claim, but... Sure, what's the difference? Claim... Uh, it's the same conditions, but we get the more moral authority with the bigger... with the Holy War, so we're going to do a Holy War. Uh, I keep forgetting to check whether there are Teutonic Knights there. Stupid Teutonic Knights. Uh, but it's, it's, it's okay. This is actually going to be fine. Okay, oh sure, this is mine still. Uh, let me see, when did the race? 11th of April. Okay, that's fine. We're just gonna race the Swedes again. Okay, and we're going to. Okay, I think just to make sure that this works the way it's going, that we think it's going to work, we're going to do. do we're just gonna bring the whole thing in, land with everybody, get in there real quick and be over with it before all of these people that we are at war with can really do much about it. Because remember that we're basically fighting most of the map. Uh, do we seriously have three, four? Can these guys seriously not just go here as well? Okay. Yeah, we, we, have, we, have, yeah, we have the space for that in those, in those boats. Okay, the good the good news about Zemgal compared okay, they it look looks like they left Zemgal. Yeah, they've got some minor troops that are just hanging around there. The good thing is we can land straight on Zemgal. I think that's actually what we're gonna do. Because that's actually the great thing about this war is that we can make it really quick. We're 
gonna sail away over there. Uh, I. Th Let me see. Wizarding the monastery, of which my order has convened this time, I join my fellow lay members in dutifully performing all tasks required of us. In the evening, after a hard day's work, the abbot gathers all the wizarding lay members and reveals the monastery's great treasure, a relic uh, that has been safeguarded here for many many generations. That's nice, I guess. Plus 25% of, jet of getting at uh, the. Uh, 25% of getting ambitious. It should be mine. I don't really care about the throne influence. I'm gonna say that's nice, I guess, because I really want to have ambitious. Oh wait, I already have ambitious. I should have gone with the other thing. I am an idiot. Never mind me. Just scrubbing it out. But yeah, we don't care. Honestly, it's gonna be a victory for us anyway, I think. Because even 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 though their, our morale starts with starts as shit, and we get the river crossing, we just have so many more more men than 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 they do, and each one of our men is essentially better because we have more heavy infantry, we have even more light infantry tech, so they're just better. Our strategy here is just to overwhelm quickly before anything, any any of the zillion people that are technically in this war matter. Yeah, and before <laughs> costs go way out of proportion. Like, we're still in positives even maintaining those boats, but damn, we do not want to pay more than we need to when it comes to boats. Boats are, ex boats are expensive, people. Don't use them more than you need to. <laughs> that is essentially my message for, for anyone that uses boats. Uh, there are, like, oh, to be fair, there are moments when you're going to need them mo to use them more than a lot of other places, but... Mm. Uh, prosperity of your capital county, prosperity of your... of the... With the county, I'll take levy size. I, like I think that's actually the thing that matters right now. And we're just gonna sulk. Oh, sorry, I forgot. This is they're actually taking a surrender here. We'll just accept that if you don't mind. And now we have Riga, which is actually quite good. Whatever. 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 Fourteen counties. We actually now the net now we're gonna need one more. This actually has some decent upgrades too. We're gonna make also make a castle town here. Let me see, Bushka, Letgelen tribe. Oh shit, they also have had like Letgelen? I, I didn't even know they did. But I oh actually no, that's the one I got last well, the last war I did. We'll just give Lat Gillen away to somebody, or uh, we're gonna set Crown Focus. Which in at Convert County, we only we don't have enough, but now that's the one we can convert and convert into a castle. So we're gonna go over the limit for a little bit of a while, just for for it to be. We're gonna suffer a little bit of penalty in the money money department because of it, but. That's fine, because it's, it's mostly going to be fine, because we're going to get enough devotion to convert the county instantly using our ability, and everything's just going to be hunky-dory, because I just want to make sure it's a castle before I give it away. Just research. Military tech. Can change any applications? Ooh, build the church, all in the name of God. We have a thousand devotion, right? Yes, we do. And we are... Oh, we are now the society heir. Yeah, because we've been, been here for a fairly long while. Fairly long while. And we are now converses. So that's pretty good. Uh, Let Galen, Livland, uh, Riga is... Yeah, yeah Riga is still, still majority Catholic. Because this used to be part of the Scandinavian Empire. But one of the idiot emperors let, the, let this get lost. So I'm going to reclaim this now. I'm going to convert country. And 
upgrade to castle. And then I'm going to make this into a... and give this city away to a new, new vassal. And now that's all good. Plus 10% revolt risk is fine if we get to actually convert it to a castle and everything. Sure, we still have those modifiers on it. That's actually a good question, whether, whether we want actually what we want to give away now. Clean off, okay, diff, search. Sure, I'll give him, I'll give this guy the county of on its sons. Eh, actually that's true. Actually I'll be able to convert this to a castle real soon and then have an extra city there. For essentially for free if I if I if I get it that way, so So Sirge. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna give my my son the county of Sirge. County of Search. Wait, are we still over Dimmons at the moment? Oh, are we? Okay. Gotar. Oh, yeah, 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 the actual. We also make a new. Also make a new. County for. Make a new vessel for, for the church over here, and then we're all good. It's all good. As can we create a kingdom in England? We can push it, but wait, do we not have an aggression pact? We have an aggression pact. I thought. Clear war. Well, some of you. Eh, okay. Oh, hmm. Miss, eh. Do I, what does the crew do? Plus one, minus one, moral damage. Eh, she could use a little practice reading, whatever. Uh, this guy is going to learn some stewardship. Reclaim of the county of Osterbot. Okay, that's interesting. Rocky and Clemens and Carl. <laughs> First demands. Emperor Edward of Scandinavia. Oh yeah, we just got enough. <laughs> oh yeah, we just have enough war score against those guys. And we have a a Muslim horse lords eh, host just randomly in there. Eh, whatever, I don't care. That's actually all nice. Do we have some wrong praise to be got? We have still some wrong type of holding. County of Mari. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The County of Mari is still wrong. But I'm just. So much people in Mari impressed me with the depth of the passion of the fit. The Lord who missed Master Alva calls to me, and I'm tempted to convert in secrecy. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be a nice devout Catholic. Hey, Cthulhu Collector. Hey, Cthulhu Collect Collector. Collector, always nice to see some see a little bit of chat activity. We're just playing uh, here a little bit of a uh, game of Crusader Kings. Uh, we started this a, a while back. We've been playing for almost 160, uh, 155 years ago, wrong give or take. Uh, we started out as just the two county pr county up in the Duchy of Iceland, and uh, now all of this is under our domain as we are the glorious emperors of Scandinavia. Except playing ransom. Okay, that's fine. Thank you for paying the ransom. We are going to use this money to upgrade the empire, or, or stuff in the empire, especially the things that give us money. Because that's actually something I really care right about now. Just the things that give us money. Uh, this is Scottish, so we can make the house carl training ground. ground. Not sure if that's actually worth it in that county. Because it's just gonna, it's it's so rare that we actually raise forces. I gotta, I gotta remember, I also have Finnmark. Finnmark is a terrible county. 
I will, but this first line says, Legend must be good things do not come for free. Uh, sure. I'll do that. I could. Eh, I'll just justify first each. Pulse and Proppers, and I'm gonna make a new cast of time. Uh, mods or DLC? Uh, I have all of the DLC currently available for Crusader Kings, but I have no mods. Uh, and I tend not to play with a lot of mods. Not that I, not that I definitely like think think that that's necessarily wrong or like ruining the game or anything. It, I just kind of don't see that too many mods that really appeal to me. And sometimes when I'm doing something like this, uh, I kind of prefer just you know keeping a game, a normal game for the most part. Okay, get 50 extra money. That it, and that extra money is going to go into upgrading more things. Trying to learn the game, just that mods make it more difficult. That's actually also fair, but uh, honestly, I think I, I consider myself uh, knowledgeable enough of the game that I would be okay trying some mods uh, for that reason. I don't have... Uh, for that reason, I'm actually... actually at the, For that reason, I'm not that against uh, playing mods. Uh, but it's, again, that can be extremely frustrated. When you've learned a bunch of the systems of the that the game has, and it's a game that has as many systems as Crusader Kings does, does, and then when, when a few of them are missing, it can get very frustrating. I can, I can, I can kind of see that. Uh, like, the only mod that I'm really interested in trying is uh, the Game of Thrones mod. I am kind of interested in playing a, li a little bit of that anyway, because apparently that's pretty good, and I do really appreciate the books. So that would actually be pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty nice thing. A nice little thing to try out. But uh, for now, I am just playing the games with the first-party DLCs. But I do, however, love all of the first-party DLCs. And for anyone who already likes playing Crusader Kings, the only one I wouldn't recommend is Sunset Invasion, because I do because it just offers me nothing really that I like. But all of the other ones, I would say, have made the game a better experience. Did you watch last night's episode of, Ga Ga of, of, of Game of Thrones? I did not. Uh, I'm a bit of a book fundam fundamentalist when it comes down to that. So I essentially stopped watching in about fifth season when I noticed they made a few, char a few changes to s certain characters that I absolutely didn't like. Uh, and that I thought ruined many of the things that I thought George R. R. Martin made, so I just made a conscience, like, instead of w continuing to watch and then complaining more and more about the things that are different from the books, I decided to just abandon the show and, you know, just keep going on with books, but if anyone else likes the show, you know, that's okay by them, but I essentially there's so, so many like, I have a couple of characters that I just absolutely adore in the books, and I felt that season five didn't do them justice and essentially ruined some of their core character traits. And again, I, I was eventually just so frustrated with the whole series that I just stopped. But I try to avoid, try, I try and avoid spoiling stuff. Uh, I that's the thing I'm trying to do because, like, unless everyone, like, because okay, the. The, f the fair thing is, if you're talking about the show, if I would be trying to spoil things from the books, it's pretty hard to do so now that because the the show is technically ahead of the books right now. Mm, yeah, 25, best opinion. Uh, but if you've already seen season 5, uh, there would be a couple, thi couple, couple of things that just peeve me endlessly about those. Okay, how much devotion in my Benedictine? Okay, I don't have any missions, so... But how much devotion am I generating a month? 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 9, 20. Oh, wow, Jesus, that, that is a lot. Okay, it won't take me long. One of my best CK2 moments was Sunset Invasions when I ended up with 77k troops and led the invasions from Ireland. Like, again, like, I can see why Sunset Invasions would appeal to people. It just doesn't really to me. Uh, because when it comes to historical fictions, I prefer thinking about 
small changes that lead to bigger to bigger changes in the overall history, rather than a big overhaul like Sunset Evasion did. So, like again, it's it's not po like that poorly designed. It's just something that I don't really like seeing mechanically, and I'm not interested that interested in the concept that uh, into that specific concept of historical fiction. Okay, the Holy Roman Emperor wants to marry uh, someone I do not give a shit about with to someone who... Uh, do I give a shit about him? Uh, one Poodleberg, one Poodledorg. Uh, let me just check for a, a couple of things while I pause. Arrange Patrol. Does not give me Defensive Pact. Do not give a shit. That actually check. I think the Emperor's changed. Do I still have a pact with him? I do not. And I do want to make sure... Like, they're not going to attack me. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. They're trying to push... Holy War for... Uh, Let me see. They're fighting the Holy Renovator. Second Holy War for... Zemilchus... I, I I can't pronounce. So do you use the supernatural DLC? I do use the super, super the supernatural DLC. Well, there's a little bit of supernatural elements in more than one DLC. Like there's a bit of supernatural natural elements in three. I think there's a little bit in Way of Life. There's a little bit in there's a fair fair amount of in Monks and Mystics, and there's also a fair amount in Reapers Do. Uh, but I use those, uh, and I you know I don't mind those actually. Because I, I don't feel... I don't really feel that any of them is that overt. Uh, with the Okay, maybe the like Lucifer's own on launch were a bit overt. But I think, I think now they're in a spot that's a lot closer to what I'm comfortable with. Because on launch, they were a little bit bullshit. Uh, and this playthrough did actually uh, manage to use... Uh, uh, like, I think... I, I do have up in, uh, uh, some of the first uh, parts of this playthrough on YouTube, so if you're interested, you can check that out. It's on YouTube slash Count John D, I believe. Let me just double check that that's right. Never mind. Okay, never mind. It's not there, but I think... I think you can YouTube search me, and it still doesn't seem seem there. Let me see. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, you should you should find it on Count John D, which is my YouTube page. Page, and I did actually uh, abuse the the demon worshippers a bit in the start of this playthrough, but I don't think it changed. Like, I don't think it really changed the flow of my playthrough that much. But I, I can say I, I have used it for certain advantages. I can become celibate. You know, just dedicate a mass to chastity. Get a little bit of piety, a little bit of prestige. Tavia Dale Chillots, Auxer, Diljon. I have a lot of claims and of digital claims in a lot of places. Okay, but uh, I'm not. A, I'm not. I, I gotta say I am a bit annoyed. Zemeltische. Where even is this? This is my... Let me see... Let's actually search this up. Zemotesh. Dutch Chef Zemotesh. Okay, yeah, it's this... Oh, yeah, it's this one. It's this one county. Okay, that isn't too bad, because he still doesn't... And, like, he might actually take... Russia here. Oh, well, that actually would be pretty annoying. And we still have such a huge amount of yeah, and we're not going to be able to win win this war without it costing us more than it's probably worth. I never use the treasure ingredients that I f that I, that I find. Yeah, that's actually something that uh, at least uh, that I heard in the dev diary is that they're they're essentially fixing a little bit. Uh, a few of the things that are changing about that they changed about that relatively recently is that they don't actually go out of your treasury upon inheritance like they used to. Uh, the other things that they didn't do uh, is okay. I'm trying to think. 
the other things that they didn't that they did is that they have been working on uh, making the events which you can use the ingredients a bit more frequent uh, a bit more frequent but yeah you you do kind of still l end up in unfortunately too many situations where you don't really use the ingredients uh, like i can i can agree with that that is something that that they probably like the paradox should put a bit more work into fixing Life is 27. Current Bishop Tariq has secluded himself in Runaga and thus has enabled Purim's task for the time being. Ugh. Are there any diseases going on? Why are you being secluded? There are literally no plagues on the entire goddamn planet. Is he a member? I don't think he's even a member of the Benedictine Order like I am. I'm actually curious. Now that I am the heir apparent of the order, how difficult would it be to kill, uh... Mm, 2117. Eh, not really worth it. My Chancellor Simeon has improved relations with my mayor. Okay, that's fine. Uh, go ahead then. Wasn't that somewhere here? Yeah, that was quite done. That's something. Okay, let's actually commit Castle Mother Walls to Castle Walls 2. Upgrade that all up. Let me see. Okay, Mari Tribe. We're gonna essentially gonna wait until we have enough devotion. Okay, since although since this doesn't have nomad agitation, and I'm kind of okay with waiting, do I wanna actually make sure that I just start with keep two? Like how long is it until I can get to the thousand? It's going to be not too long, so I think I might as well. I'm kind of in the, yeah, I think I might as well upgrade the training ground. And when it gets ready, I'll, I'll, I'll convert this, to, when that's ready, I'll convert that to, uh, nah. Can you remind me uh, of the du jour of Scandinavia? Uh, yeah, sure. I can just look uh, look at or add it right here in the map mode. This is the du jour of Scandinavia. I still have a few du jours that are in the Atna uh, Empire, but at, I'm kind of at the stage of the game where, off more often than that not, I would prefer not to use du jour claims because du jour claims. Uh, but basically, if, if I'm fighting someone someone that's bigger than a, than a couple of counties, I would rather up and, uh, take claims that either give me duchies or holy wars that give me duchies. Uh, and uh, and if I'm fighting someone that's really small, that's kind of the same thing. If I'm fighting really small, they're most likely small tribals that are not of my religion. And and at that point, holy wars are just kind of better because it gives me th that would give it gives me moral authority, which I want to keep up. Uh, that gives me piety, which, okay, to be fair, at this point, is just points. Uh, but if I had a character with lower piety than this, uh, uh, that actually would be pretty nice, because if you can at least get to, I believe, the first 500 or 1,000 quickly, you get to get maximize the opinion bonus you get from church vassals. And I, th and I, I feel that that is a, a very relevant thing. Yeah. And, uh, wow, does everyone like me 100? That is... That is insane, Jesus. Oh yeah, Bish yeah, the Pope's not getting anything from me. Let me see. See, but yeah. The de jure of Scandinavia though is is, pre is pretty good. And like let me see. What? I've never I don't think I've never seen this one. For some time now the county of Holstein has served as an unofficial training ground. Actually no, I've seen this one ground for your armies as there is plenty of troops, a troop of open space on which to train and abundant food to feed the troops. A group of senior officers are now petitioning you for money to order to erect an official regimental camp in the county. That sounds like an excellent suggestion. 800. Having it easy would just make them weaker. 800 gold though. Ugh, the 800 gold is a lot of money. I didn't see you were not reformed pagan. Nice vassals, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm not reward. I'm not a reformed reformed pagan. I, I started in 1066, uh, 66 in 
uh, Iceland. And the cool thing about that is I, I essentially just randomly rolled a ruler to start with. Uh, hit Iceland, which is actually super funny because I'm actually Icelandic and I'm there right now. Uh, th that sounds like an excellent. I, I think I'm just gonna. It just, it's just not worth the 800 money. That's that's the only thing. F the, like the bonus is good, but for 800 money, it's not worth it. Like even if it stayed for a really long time. Yeah, I have played as reformed pagans. Pagans though, I did. I did a world conquest uh, up, uh, playthrough once. I I didn't post it anywhere online. It was just a single player thing I did. did I think thing I did, and you know that was actually pretty cool. Uh, my Chancellor Simeon. Yeah, okay. Was he actually good as a job? D job this guy? I think this guy was bad at his job. Yeah, he was bad at, at his job. Yeah. I do have a lot of dice vassals. That's actually for true. I have been doing a lot of uh, sneaky, sneaky, steely claim, claim stuff in order to get a lot of territory. It's kind of how I've been able to take so much of Russia and Poland and, and Scotland. Lund here, because one of the few okay, the few people that I can't really afford to mess with at this stage are the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, France were really big bad a while back, bad back, but you now if I I could probably take care take care of them. Can you create em Empire of Russia? Uh, I sadly do not have enough territory to do that, because again you need, okay in order to fire, find an empire you need eighty percent, and just, just look at this. This is so much territory and such a weird way. I, and I would have to go through a lot. I would have to go through two separate nomads and a couple more tri tribals to actually get that. And these guys are in three different duchies, making this as annoying as as possible to get. And I do kind of want to, uh, you know, stabilize some of this and just essentially get rid of all of these tiny, tiny guys. Ugh, these are just these these borders are disgusting. They. Their, their very presence does disgust me. Hmm. Although, with only 400 piety and only three counties in the center of us, I think we can get them uh, get this just duchy out like duchy, regardless of the of the, the defensive backs, because we're still stuck at threat nine at like nine, threat 96 or something. So I think we can still manage to take this one with a holy war for essentially for Estonia. Uh, Grand Principality of... Oh yeah, okay. I've, I've forgotten to reforge my relationship with the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, yeah, we can't really do that. But actually, let's check. Can can the Princess of Scotland marry anyone? Okay, no. Because that one's just less valuable as a marriage mar as a marriage thing. So, Elizabeth, Mary, Engelbert. Desires a better non-aggression pact? What? What do you mean, better non-aggression pact? We have a great non-aggression pact. Wait, sorry, any range control goal? Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, I picked the one that doesn't actually give her a non-aggression pact. This gives her, gives him a non-aggression pact. Matronial? Yeah, no. <laughs> that usually doesn't happen. It's not as big as, look, it has fewer counties than Scandinavia. That's fair, but a lot of those counties are now Un under nomadic control, and in basically they're held held by people who, even though I could take them down, it's expensive enough to take them down at the moment comparatively to what I would get from them, uh, and I would much rather consolidate all the stuff here before I try to do that, especially since it's going to be going to be a lot easier for me to take uh, this duchy through my defensive packs than it is going to going to be for me to take this duchy with my defensive backs because this, these horse lords will actually take part and sure maybe they'll ignore the war but if they actually bring their hordes over this war is going to be not unwill unwinnable I think but it's going to be too expensive for me to really go up okay uh, thanks for watching Cthulhu Collector if you want to go back to need to go back to work you need to go back to work can't really blame you for that one so that's essentially what I'm going to do uh, but I am going to make sure I'm f I'm friends with the Holy Roman Empire first, because being friends with the first of all, just being friends with the Holy Roman Empire, uh, it's just good. In Nomads, you end up building castles, and they are not cheap. That that's essentially one of the things, because in order to keep the land land, I'm kind of going to be need needing to build more castles, and that's expensive. And on top of and on top of that cost, it's not just the money cost. 
Uh, it's also just the actual lives cost. Uh, okay, I'm actually going to give him uh, my engraved crown, because I think that's something... Oh, damn it. I uh, can't give him another artifact. Gift gifting him is ridiculously expensive. Come on, how close is it? Three, four, five, versus four, five, six, seven. A uh, pact of non-aggression. Okay, I don't need to, him to aid me in the war. This gives him a pact of non-aggression, so he actually won't, at least won't be fighting me. So that's not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna check. Are there any random tectonic, teutonic knights here? Nope. Okay. So first, th wait. There were no... These guys... I swear these guys weren't there a second ago. Or did I just miss them? Eh, eh, if if they do, had do the things things that they did last time, they're just probably going to leave. Oh, okay, sorry. This is in a point... Ah, this isn't a pointless revolt. This is useless. Oh, thank, thanks, Russian revolt. Thanks for taking my premier... Premier raising... Uh, uh, raising ground and just taking that away. Okay, nope. Go do it like this. Uh, we're also from Ifland, still un is still not under the Swedish crown. <laughs> Knights are the best. Yeah, the good thing is, even though they're going to be war 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 at war with me, at, like against me, they're probably still going to just go probably go away before before it really matters. Let me see these guys for these boats like my plan here is just to take over all of Estonia before it really matters like before these literal dozens upon dozens of nations can really get together and actually do do anything about it that's essentially the plan Yeah, Estonians got that. Can I get 23 of August? Okay, that's actually going to be fine. Land with my troops over there. Okay, they're going to be there the 21st. They're going to be there the 16th. I can, if I sail over there, I can just join any of the counties that matter over there and that'll just be good shock and awe I'm sure that will that will work <laughs> never fails eh that that is essentially the plan we'll, we'll see how well it goes okay I don't know if they're specifically going for me or if this is just a coincidence but at least we're not gonna get hit immediately they're gonna be at least be able to get over to Tartu are they changing their way they're not that's good Good. Okay, you, your boats have already done their thing. We're gonna land over, over there in Finland just so we don't have to pay for the boats, because boats are expensive, people. If at the moment you do not need your boats, disband them. But there, yeah. But do remember, there are some some play times when they're actually needed. Actually, let me see. There's, it's just going to be turned down to like 50. Yeah, just attack. Yeah, with me as commander. Eh, what could go wrong? Assault over there. Now with that's done... Okay, maybe this was a bit too ambitious of an attack over the seas. Or was it? No, I think it's actually going, going, going fine. I think our troops are just that much better on top of us having more men. Yeah, they essentially just have the tribal... The, the tribal thing, while we have essentially just... A, you know, pretty decent, decent, decent military techs to back this army up. On top of that, we have a really solid commander in me with his 26 marshal, uh, and I, I, since I have a both inspiring leader and central, uh, nah, sorry, direct leader and inspiring leader, uh, 
my stats in the big beginning guys just so good. Paradox is a true believer in possession is nine tenths of the law. <laughs> that that's actually actually fairly fair fair. But again, again you can kind of say that that's like you, like even if you disagree with that notion, historically when it comes to nations, this this has just kind of always been the thing. Whether you like it or not, that's the truth. Okay, Rika's made a castle town. We're just gonna keep upgrading the castle town. Okay, we have 100% war score. Cool stats, by the way. Yeah, I've I've worked hard on those stats. I've bred I've I've bred the genius trait. I've spent many a years in the Benedictine order and do, doing like the right things to make these stats as good as they can be, and I, I'm a bit proud of them. Just you know, to say myself. I'm in Vedrafjörður, Waterford, S.E. Ireland. Hmm, interesting. Okay, and that's actually the question of what I, what I do with those counties now that I have them. Let me see, I am a Conversus. Which means if I get 1,000, so which one of them, okay, one of them has like three holding slots is probably the best one, so it's there. Uh, Mari... Uh, I don't have enough to convert the county, but actually, what is where? Where is our cat priest doing? Do we need, does he need to be actually be in Onega? He does not need to be in Onega for that. That that's for sure. Oh, currently in Kemi. Oh yeah, that was the, like the weird ass monotheite. Okay, I'm I'm still not gonna bother with that one for now. Uh, because I still have counties like Mari that I would actually much rather convert, because actually counting out the converting Mari actually gives me... Okay, come on. You did this time. There we go. Good priest. Uh, special loading upgrade Revol Revol Tribe. Okay, we can already upgrade this one, because, yeah, it's already Catholic. How nice. We upgrade that one. And that now this is getting pretty good. Like, sure, we still have some Catholic tribals over here, but, you know, it'll it'll eventually have to change. It, it just always does. Does, but the question is, how far away are these in, from converting? They're simply the religion conversion, religious conversion away. Hmm. Mari's far away. Let me see for religion... We're, we're we're pretty close to actually just wiping Swamanesco off the map eventually, but because we actually have almost all of the territory that they have, except for like a couple counties here and there. Hmm. The question is whether we want to keep this be over our limit for a little while. I might want to do that actually. Although the opinion bone modifiers though. Yeah, no, sorry, not rebels, that's not what I'm looking for. Eh, I think I'll actually just give... Like, he, okay, he's got a, 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 like a limit of three. I'll give him the county of Mari. And I think just the county of Ingria as well. I'll just give him the... I'll just give my heir the counties and hope for the best, really. I don't really want to bother doing any of this for a while, for a little while. Okay. Okay, I think we've gotten pretty well at bashing down the tribals. Yeah, sure, like, they're gonna grab this county, and that's, that's fine, but... I do, sorry, let me see. Mas Mavrovia? Ooh, or is one of my vassals doing anything about that? For Prussia. I certainly hope she succeeds, because if, if she succeeds, then we get, then these two counties, uh, isn't there, isn't there a third, okay, then these two counties become ours, and then this, as long as we can, like, take this or this, this county or this county before the Holy Roman Empire does, we'll have a buffer, we'll be a buffer between them and the tribals, so we can just take them at our leisure, and we don't have to race the Holy Roman Empire for them. Because, again, we, we, we're still not at a stage where we really want to fight the Holy Roman Empire, and even then, we we want to wait until we have some fairly uh, good. Essentially, we want to wait until we have some fairly good claims to get from the Holy Roman Empire.
Okay, I'm kind of curious. Let's actually just go into my court. Find, I guess she's just a random kinswoman. No, I'm looking for in my own court, but that doesn't make any sense. Specifically looking for in, okay, there's just, She's in jail. Or is she in jail? The one I was looking for. Not the one I was looking at, but... Yeah. Yeah. We're just letting... Like, there's... N These people aren't important. We're just gonna do that. Can you join your vassals in external wars? No, you cannot. Uh, you cannot, and you may not. Uh, your vassals, if your vassals declare a war, war separately of you, you can do nothing about the course of that war. Absolutely nothing. Doomburg, is that a... Wait, do we actually have 14 counties still? Oh yeah, there's Narva Tribe. Yeah, we're actually just going to wait with Narva Tribe until we get up to the thousand. It takes to convert, convert Narva make it into a solidly nice solidly nice catholic county and you know and you know that that's that's all and then that'll be good and we'll be able to be all christian be all christian drink all the sunday sunday wine and all of that nonsense oof i still don't like the relationship i seem to have with holy roman empire cuz the holy roman empire is still a lot more powerful than i am in a lot of ways uh, despite of them having a kid. Like, I have greater armies, but not by much. Oh yeah, <laughs> upgraded the castle that's way up in Finnmark. Straight over there. Although, I, uh, am I still the Duke of Finnmark? Yeah, I am still the Duke of Finnmark. Do I care to be the Duke of Finnmark? Probably not. Uh, yeah, that's actually fair. I don't give a shit about Finnmark. I give you, I give, I give upon you the Duchy of Finnmark and all that lies under it. Wh whoever you are. <laughs> you little girl, you are now the Duchess of Finnmark. Have fun with that. Oh, now we have factions? Factions, factions are nice. Okay, we can't do that, but we, that's fine. We'll, we'll just... Let me see... We'll just do... Actually, can I... Let me see. Do it. Can I... Marriage... No... Range patrol, though... My nephew... To your... Nephew... To your daughter... And it's all hunky-dory, isn't it? Take an ambition... Hmm... I don't think I'm going to actually... Stay at peace for five years. Can't be taken again for five years. Is there any wars that I'm going to be taking part of, though? Probably, maybe, I don't know. Actually, if we can get any... Let me see if this is going up. I end up swapping out the weak Lapland counties for bits of Britain. <laughs> Same when I play Ireland. That kind of makes makes sen makes sense in a lot of ways. Uh, I'm just kind of ending up uh, ending up with a domain of con convenience. A convenience. Uh, the only thing I've really done specifically to make sure that my domain is good is take over Kiev or uh, Kuningardr as it's called here. I've made sure to take over that because it's. I think it's just always nice to have a six a six holding territory in your empire. It's just always good. Defending against Duke and Greater Polish. Duke. Okay, Bresti. That's Bresti the county. Okay, that's actually nice. The Polish guys are expanding on their own, which is probably pretty good if they actually succeed. Because I've got all these defensive packs that are running at me, so I can't actually do that much when it comes down comes down to it. How old am I? Sixty-two years old. My heir is 25. I'm going to change to family focus. And fuck it, I'm actually going to see the realm prosper. 
What the fuck? There's a just a Muslim count here? Randomly? These Muslims are popping up everywhere. Uh, like, hang uh, on to Saxony. Nice, well equipped. Well equipped and easy to run. And, you know, that's actually quite fair. That's actually quite fair, fair, fair as well. Let me see. Stip stables I've built in Onega. Yeah, one of the thing, one of the premier things I'm basically just trying to do is to make sure that I have. Uh, do I have it? Right? Do I have it yet? No, but I can secretly convert. Sword Vala. Sure, let's get a castle wall. Get some more territory on there. Also make castle lures in Doomberg. Okay. I'm gonna go intriguing. Uh, just a little reading can't hurt. Whatever, this is basically going to be for some free piety. This is probably, I'm guessing, either the Russian king. It's probably the Russian king here that's going, that's doing this to me right now. That is trying to convert me to... To... Orthodox. Yeah, I don't want to secretly do that. I'm just going to gain the 100 piety. 100 free points. Let me see. Should do her own thing? No, don't become dull. You could rather become brave. Let me see what else we got going on here. Okay, this children likes focus. Child lacks focus. You'll be a great spy, daughter, or niece. No, it's just a kinswoman. That's actually fine. I'll, I'll probably be able to marry her to someone. Okay, how close are we to the devotion? Just one more month, I believe. I think it was just every month. Your gold sucks. You raid? Can you raid? Uh, I cannot raid because I am a good, honest Catholic. Catholics cannot raid. As you can see here, I cannot raid because I'm Catholic and, and Catholics are nice. Apparently. I don't think it sucks. Also, I don't think really my gold really sucks. I don't think 50 gold a month sucks. Like, it could be better given the terrain I have, sure. But it doesn't suck. Let, like, let me just get that straight. Like, you may look at that and say, hey, you, like, you don't have, never seem to have much in pool, but... Uh, I do the thing where I make sure that I'm spending a lot of money consistently. Uh, that, in my mind, is a good strategy, a good general strategy. Because it, it never feels like to me like you really want to hold on to a lot of money all the time. It, it feels like to me in this game that you want to spend a lot of it in investing in your resources often as much as you can. Uh, do you have merchant Repu do you have a merchant republic vessel? No, but that is something I probably should have added when I got Estonia. That's actually something that I probably should do have right about now. I believe. Let me see trade zones. Uh, thanks for reminding reminding me that that's a thing. I, I did actually forget about that. That is actually something that I should try to set try to set up, at least to make sh make some competition to the Hansa happen. The Hansa happen. Yeah, uh, like the next time I can maybe get a duchy in. Actually, can I make... Uh, sure, I'll, I'll seclude myself. I should probably try to form it up somewhere. Agreed, build your, build your tax till you need mercs. Hmm. I... Okay, this is actually one thing. Let me see. Wait. Oh, yeah, 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 because... Eh, this is technically... This is under... The Kingdom of Norway, this is under Uppland. Okay, I, okay, I like, I, okay, whenever I form a new Merchant Republics, I prefer to let them keep whole duchies so your noble vassals just don't instantly screw them over. So I'm probably gonna wait until I can find a, like, a solid, maybe two county duchy somewhere and then give it to them. Uh, it preferably needs to be somewhere by the sea in, in order for that, for it to be really effective, to be effective at all, really. Uh, actually, man, I could set it up with the Irish. Nah, I probably want to set it up. 
I can't really set it up here anymore. I can't really set it up here. I need. I would preferably to set it somewhere in the basin around here. It's too late to do it. It's too late to do it in most of the good locations to do it, though. I'm going. I like. I think I'm going to keep that in mind as I move forward, uh, because I'm going to need to have have it somewhere. <laughs> false religion. Uh, false religion is too big of a penalty. One county duchy, Isle of Man. That's a good. That is actually a good one. Isle of Man is only one duchy. That will leave it behind. But the problem is that Isle of Man is already part of my empire and formed. Uh, Gotland is a duchy that is in my empire, but empire. But it's actually one of the better counties that I have right now. And since my the rest of my demesne isn't looking great, I'm not really sure it's worth it to form a. Uh, actually, let me see. For me, a thousand troops, roughly give or take, from it. I still have Holstein. Can I form the Duchy of Wisby? Is it? Yeah, the Duchy of Wisby. Okay, I think Gotland. Yeah, I actually do like that. Oh no, Ostergotland. Can I not form it as its own thing? Duchy of Ostergotland, County, County of Gotland, Duchy of Ostergotland. No, Ostergotland isn't. Is, it, Gotland isn't a, a no, a, a, its own duchy. The way I can see it, though. Let me see. Maybe it's in one of those weird ones that you can fo found separately, but isn't really. Oh, Duchy of Wisby. But I can't create the Duchy of Wisby. Uh, it cost you two hundred gold. Okay, I can, but I need to wait for the money. Okay. I think I actually might do that because. Gotland is a good county, but I think you are you're, I think you're actually right that creating it as a merchant republic might actually be worth it. The only problem is 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 that they're going to have to be in the middle of the Hansa immediately when I form them, but they'll actually probably start start eventually popping creating posts down somewhere, maybe somewhere down the line I'll have an embargo war with the Holy Roman Empire when I, you know, can really afford to do that, and after that Gotland will be left to be relatively important. Like and even if they don't do too much, they're going to it, it going to generate some extra money for me. Even if they just, even if they just make like a few trading posts in inland over here, they can go anywhere in Scot. Actually, actually, because I am their liege, going into Scotland is a lot cheaper than it is for the Hans over here. So that's actually not not going to be that bad. Let me see. Yeah, it's the Duchy of Wisby, I believe. <laughs> Let me see. Let's look at the Duchy of Wisby. It has no du jour, but it's going to be over here. Let me see the mayor here, city of Wisby. Uh, his, his stats are not great, but who cares? It's going to be... Ta it, it's, it's a merchant republic. It's going to be taken over by someone who matters. Like, who, over someone with decent stats eventually. You can war the Hansa for fat cash. I can war the Hansa for fat cash, but... First of all, I'm allied with their liege, the Holy Roman Empire, for now. Uh, so I'm eventually going to do it, but... Pro do it probably. Uh, but I'm going to wait with it at least for a little while. And I'm going to give them the Duchy of Wisby. Some new fan random families arise. Now we have a merchant republics. Because again, we again because I believe my niece, I believe, is is betrothed to the Holy Roman Emperor, Emperor right now. Like, and I kind of prefer just okay. It's not an alliance, but it's going to probably be an alliance. Well, let's toss our our diplomat there. And I actually like having Holy Roman Empire more as a friend rather than try to wore them for big fat cash because you do realize that it's going to be big fat cash but upkeeping the armies it takes to kill uh, to actually win the war war me uh, uh, the stacks of troops it takes to win the war all the money that will take to maintaining those armies uh, I'll probably land in a net positive and probably win the war 
but it will probably take me more time and more effort than I would like to for considering what I gain from it. But I do like the the uh, do like putting this up as a Merchant Republic because this is actually not a great at a great cost to me, and it's probably eventually going to be a decent investment that's going to turn turn some dividends. Uh, I can't find myself caring about this. Uh, Twenty eight hundred though. Eh, sure. Even with river penalties, it's not going to be that bad. Make sure we have one more commander, though. Is the title still Doge? Yeah, okay, you know, he's just Grand Mayor. That makes more sense. He's not a Doge, although, like, this is actually a Kingdom title now. Like, it's it's still Doge, even though, even though when it's at, at, uh, the, the Dutchy title. I think it's actually just a, a cultural shifting title thing. Month November. Let's look at the morale of this. Because I might actually like delay the armies if their morale isn't up a little bit. Castle walls have been guild built in Glidden. Let me see. Eh, not too bad. Out of curiosity, like I can't declare them because I have a pact of non-aggression, but it, like I would probably get, I think, like two, two, four thousand. Give it some, somewhere between two and four thousand for warring over the Hansa. Th these are slim number advantages, but I somehow feel that with my leader bonuses and the infantry that's there, I'll be able to win this despite the river penalties. Maybe that is, maybe that is a, a bit overconfident, but honestly, I don't think that's a huge investment of my time or effort to try to do that. Let me see. Less traveling means more. The prosperity of Finland increases. I actually do like this investment. Because prosperity... Yeah, because this means Finland prospers. So the 25, 50 gold or so that I basically spent there because this will at la last for... This, like, the prosperity level will last for quite a while. Is, is this probably going to be a net positive? I think you only need five or six counties for Empire Russia. Like, I do, but why... Okay, but I do, and it's pretty funny to form Russia, but I'm actually just, at, like, considering a little bit for a second. It's a bit funny to form Russia, but form actually forming Russia is probably awful for me. <laughs> like, actually forming Russia is awful. Okay, this is a pitched battle, if I've seen one. This is probably going to be a loss, actually. Oh no, oh no, the Russians, the Russians are going to be, oh no, we're going to win. Well, a thousand Russians gave their lives to chase away some raiders. Eh, that's fine by me. The smuggler finger Grival has been destroyed. Yeah. Makes sense. Grival, I believe, was also... Yeah, that, that came up before. Uh, okay, I'm going to explain it very simple. Because of my succession. My succession, because if you form a new empire title, I I they gain the same succession types that you already have. My current Atna election Atna succession type is elective, meaning that people can vote for different different inheritor inheritors to Russia, and people can vote for different inheritors for Scandinavia. Meaning, my empire could split in half by forming the empire of Russia. Like I could. Manu uh, like I could try to, I could probably play around that a little bit, uh, essentially by marginalizing vassals, putting the vassals I don't like under underneath other vassals, and a lot of other different type of shenanigans to keep that vote down. But I don't think that uh, that forming the empire title gives me enough to the point where that title where that is actually worth it. I don't think it is. Oh, that actually reminds me of one thing that I probably should be doing right now. Holding feasts. Yeah, yeah, I am trying to see the realm of sorcerers. We are experiencing a plague of pirates on our coasts. <laughs> and there's a rumor you're supporting them. Can you please put a mind regard to this room, assuming that it's not true, or it is? 
Yeah, it's my wife. I kind of want to actually kind I kind of want to keep this. Let me see she's 29 though. Mm, yeah, sure. Sure, I must reassure her. Whatever. That'll be perfect entertainment for the feast. Drunkard. Ronnie. Uh, the High Chief of Gun Bizarre and resolving it, uh, and Bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning Duke Johan of Shylan's sexual preferences. How should I use this juicy information? Eh, I'm just gonna keep it to myself. I don't care. It's all fine. But basically, that is why forming Russia is essentially just bad, uh, especially because uh, of how Russia is set up. Uh, even because all of Russia is under people of different religions. It doesn't even give me de jure claims either. So it's pretty funny. T it's a bit funny to form the Empire of Russia, but it actually only really gains me a little bit of a prestige spike. Like, and prestige is good, don't get me wrong, but the potential negative ramifications far outweigh, outweigh the possible rewards of having the Empire of Russia. Because I, I, cause, cause it, cause I think in my mind the reasons to form... Atna, Atna. I think, I think, in my opinion, when you're forming titles, you need a reason to form them, not a reason not to form them. Uh, like Atna, because, because the more, because in a lot of ways, especially when you have empires with elective successions, because if you're a king with elective successions, or king or an empire with elective success successions, every duke you add add to the table is essentially another vote. And the f and the more votes that are there are, the harder it is to control. Like I'm pretty lucky right now, as almost every vote that that can be had is being voted for the guy I, who I would like to inherit. But you could end up in a situation where that's not the case. Okay. Let me see. Hungary. Do I have any, actually have any claims? Like I know I, I know I have a alliance with him right now, but actually they also have an alliance with the holy of the Byzantines. So unless the Byzantines are busy, uh, I probably don't want to mess with Hungary right or not right now. But Valachia is. I haven't found a more fascinating person. Mm, yeah, sure, random person gained, gained his friend. That's actually pretty fine. Like, I probably am going to actually wait for the five years to actually get the prosperity of all realm provinces, uh, because that's actually just quite quite solid. Uh, let me see. It's in... Ugh. Sometimes the traits in this game would get just a bit too hard to find. Because I'm trying to find the... I had a great fun and everyone else enjoyed it. Yeah, see the realm prosper, 1229. Okay, eh, just four more years. I think that's actually quite worth it. Just get a bunch of prosperity in a lot of counties. Even though this poor fella gets to stay independent for a little bit more, for a little bit longer. In a way, that's actually quite fine by me. Okay, I think uh, our vassal is being fought off here. It does look like that. It does indeed look like it is. Ooh, but our, our vassal did good. They did good here, though. They managed to take over Bresti, and I think that's actually pretty good. Eh, I don't really want to hold a grand tournament. It's just not worth a cash. Successful Mystic Soldier, successful crusade for Jerusalem. Oof. Now trying to get a claim up to France. Trying to get now now trying to have some sort of claim on France that I can take is a lot more tempting because it would extend my reach by such a ridiculous amount. Like if I absorb France somehow. And if I can, if I can like regain the alliance with the Holy Roman Empire here, that's actually doable. Like, cause I have some weak claimants in the, in, like I believe I have one or two weak claimants in my court. Uh, you don't have a strong claim, do you? No. Yeah, he doesn't even have a strong claim, so I don't really want to bother with that. Yeah, so essentially if they get if they get put down to a regency, which because they have agnatic primogeniture. <laughs> Leader of French 
Burgund Burgundian Revolt. Wait, what? Okay, he's probably... Leader of Burgundian Revolt? Oh no, he's of the Burgundian Revolt, which is just... These guys. Let's see, in my court... Yeah, he currently has some sort of temporary title, so that actually doesn't quite work. Hmm. I really want to try, at least try to scheme for France, though. Because that that is quite tempting. Uh, the Ruck Reconquest... Uh, the Reconquista has, begin in, has happened in horror. <laughs> happened to the horror. Yeah, the Reconquista is a bit strange here, though, because this is actually a, like what was originally a Muslim name that is just converted. Uh, and it's <laughs> it's also not the actual Spanish that are doing anything about it. It's mostly the Holy Roman Empire and France. Eh, power to the French, I guess. But this is one of the reasons why if I, if I can find a way to absorb, absorb France somehow, I'll be so happy. Wait, did I give away my grid crown? Okay, no, I didn't give away my, my, away my good crown. I only have the bad crown. Or, like, actually, I only have the good crown. Don't really want to give it that way. Mm, I just need one successful, successful diplomacy thing from my guy. Guy for that to be worth it. Hmm, still getting attacked for Prussia. Attacking Chief of Trakai in high to revoke Trakai. Okay, that's fine. Oh, this guy, that means this guy's independent for now, right? Mm. Yeah, but I kind of want to actually... I kind of want to actually increase the prosperity of everything. I think that's actually quite a little bit worth it, so... I think that's actually worth it. Worth it. With the empire that I have now, and given the amount of peace I've had so far, I don't think it's worth a break from peace for this one county. I'm just gonna have to survive till 1229, four more years. And especially that also leaves me with just more money that I can just keep spending on money making improvements. I actually do wonder. They don't have any, have any trading posts yet, but that's fine. Oh, I've lost the humble trait. Yeah, that's not great, but not terrible. It's not one of the like the best trait. It's not one of the best traits I have, but it's it it, it at least provides something. Yeah, I have relatively low quality counties in my in my domain. Uh, like as the as the years go by, this is going to st stop being the case as well, ca the case a little bit because. I'm going to have to give away counties eventually, and they're going to be my worst counties, and it's going to continue like that until at least that's the thing that actually I found kind of interesting when dealing with large empires and Crusader Kings is whether you whether you uh, nah, uh, whether you uh, try to up uh, nah, uh, whether you try to keep your domain uh, centralized or not, whether you just try to keep the best counties regardless of where they are in your domain, or whether you try to keep them centralized so that your own personal levies can be as reliable to gather as you want. Um, let me see. Uh, I've also mentioned the I will be the first to, of us to go, but now I am the one morning in the departure of my dear friend. Never again will I hear Holger's jolly laugh or re receive his wise counsel. It is as if I have lost a t an essential part of myself. I feel so powerless. Friendship will only hurt you in the end. Sympathies. Holger wouldn't want me to, to, to cry. Let's drink to his honor. Let me see this guy. Oh, actually, he's my commander, and he already really loves me because he's, like, loyal and shit. Eh, perhaps a new friend is just what I need. Ugh, this is just so annoying. How many Russians am I getting? Three thousand Russians? Nah, don't want to don't want to bother about that. Skofti of Holstein. Was it just me or sir? Did the Duchy of Holstein? Oh yeah, of course he had the two counties that are below here. 
and I had the capital that was over here. And he also had some weird random count. Yeah, his capital is strangely here, all the way up in Norway. He doesn't have a bad number of troops, considering he has very few counties to his name. Okay, I'll give it that. That that's an easy easy chase away. It's just too easy to do that with that chase away. Custo. Castletown. Yeah, my money's gonna go up, up, up a little bit here and there. It's always good to remember to keep as much of your income as you possibly can. Oh, the stream has actually been going on for about uh, three hours or so. I'm gonna, you know, continue it about for mm, one hour, hour, ninety minutes. Eh, see what I feel. See what what I feel like. More castle towns are being built, which means more money, money for me. Money is great, money is great. I can do all of the things with the monies. Okay, I can... I feel free to... Yeah, let me see. I we can declare if we have any race lobbies. Yeah, okay, we have a non-aggression pact, we pact, but... Eh... It's it's fine. Like if if we break the betrothal, it ends the pact. He won't like us, but the non-aggression pact will go down, and then maybe we can just grab England. It doesn't sound like an awful idea, but it feels like that would take a while. Uh, anyway, but so we're gonna wait a little bit, especially since actually that's actually fair true because we're only gonna be gonna be able to claim that claim as long as he's not of age ten. Yeah, even if we wait the the four years, he's gonna be fourteen, so we can still declare the war. I still really believe it led me to become more respected and giving them me more prestige. I'm at about like four thousand like five thousand four four hundred prestige. That is not bad. Maybe I should actually pool a little money to make sure that I'm at least upgrading something in my capital. And I kind of like just 400 getting the, the next level of attacks. That does feel pretty nice, or not nice probably, especially since that will get the capital bonus, so it'll be probably be a decent long-term investment. Although, just in the short term, it's probably better to just upgrade the simple castle walls everywhere because it'll just take me way less time to actually start making money off of those. And I can start building them earlier to begin with. Oh yeah, I've forgotten to convert this thing, haven't I? Or have I just forgotten to upgrade that? Or why does it keep telling me that I have... Okay, that's weird. It's called Narva Tribe. Let's just eliminate the tribe just so it will stop confusing me. It is kind of annoying that my second wife here bore me no children. Actually, third, one, two, three, sorry, fourth wife here bore, has borne me no children. But being like all this Celis type in the Benedictine order and stuff really has not helped with that. But it has helped me convert a bunch of counties here and there, so that's actually, actually, it, it was probably worth it, but it did, it did eliminate the chance of me grabbing those four counties easy, up with a lot more ease if I, if I would just gotten a kid or two off of her, even if it was just a girl, just a girl would have been fine. Yeah, she's got two brothers. Yeah, she's a brother-in-law and the Count of Perishan. Can hold the Grand Tournament again. I think uh, what I think the strategy is still just to keep upgrading everything that generates me money everywhere. 283. You can upgrade Castle Towns further here. Crossberg. 282. Rika has that pretty much the same thing going on. It's just 280, 280 gold. This is, es is essentially what you basically need to do to, to get an upgrade anywhere for the, for the money at this point. Uh, 
Uh, the shore over Norland. Over Norland or Nordland? Nordland, okay, so he's essentially trying to take that county away and Peel, she'll just have that. Eh, fine by me. Heir to the Bishopric of Cardmel. I don't care about Mare and a girl, I don't care about... Meh. Actually, wait, no, I, I do care about that one, never mind. I want that one to be married... ...to someone of my dynasty. What is your age? 25? Years of my dynasty. We will arrange that betrothal, and that'll be all nice, but let me see. My daughter. Let me see. Claimants. Weak. I only have a weak claim. Does this guy have a strong claim? No, it's a weak claim as well. He's going to be aged. He's going to be of the proper age here, and he even has a dynastic heir that's like that. Him, this guy, she's like, what, 30? Yeah, she was married to my son-in-law, Waye, the King of England. Sure. Stay friends with Hung staying friends with Hungary seems fine by me. Claim Gaelic. Ugh, Grand Principality of Moldo. Do I not even have friends? Or am I not friends with England anymore? Because I do want to be friends with England. I can probably be friends with England, right? F plus 15. Ooh, there, it, we're, we're really starting to get to the point where it starts to be really hard to keep up the merit, like, keep up the, uh, the up at the alliances. Ugh, vicious, those vicious rumors are actually starting to really annoy me. I could give... Uh, it's not worth one of the artifacts. Okay, I have... I'm, I can be allied with Hungary. Form alliance. Okay, I can't be yet, but when we're actually finished the, patro the patroller here in about a couple of years, it'll probably be good enough to have for good enough for an alliance there. And I probably don't want to break that, just to, to have war with a Hanzo over money. It's a bit easier to do it with a male, though. Invite this one to court? Yes, yes, I would like to invite this one to a court. I also probably do want to want to add more churches somewhere, cause just because of the Benedictine order discount, a hundred gold—that is a steal. Especially when it's the only thing I can legally build. Here you go. Yeah, let's make some churches as well. Oh, there's 25. I wonder. Oh, the she. 16. Okay, that's a huge favor to the Dutch of Denmark that I'm not that big of a fan of, really. Let me see. It's the oldest member of my dynasty that I might be able to match her up with. Astrid Matronil. Sure, be, th be she deserves greatness. Go ahead. Eh, whatever. Cause now breaking off the betrothal and starting a war for England is starting to seem like not that bad of a thing. Hmm. But I do want to want to be insured. Actually, yeah. Although I do want to be insured. Okay, I'm gonna wait until the 
think it's up, but I do want to make... Like, I'm gonna think I'm gonna re... Uh, wait, where, how did this guy get... Okay, wait, that, that, that is... That is not good at all. Fine, okay, now we're gonna do to do something. Find characters... Uh, any... In the married category, and then we're gonna just find... I don't remember, can I? Do I have do I have the rights for for enough rights for women to make them chancellors? I don't remember. Let's let's just check. Uh, no, I do not. Which reminds me, can I upgrade the the rights for women? No, because significant. Uh, I need to have toler tolerance for. Actually, I can do that. I cannot change another law until twelve thirty. Okay, in four years. If I have nothing better to do, then. And that'll just do it. Yeah, but I don't remember putting this check, this chancellor, up because this is not a really good chancellor. Could be more charitable. Yeah, I'm gonna have to switch some leaders out. Cause yeah, hi chief of Ugra, you're gonna be my spy master. I'm gonna send you a little gift to make sure you you like me decently well enough, and you're gonna go over there. He's still a tribal leader though. Oh. You paid 500 gold for a wife only to kill her a couple years later. Eh, well, I guess I had got 500 gold out of that deal, but... Hmm. Pity. Pity that you have to had a killer. Because they're actually not in my defensive pack, and I'm going to look... A little suspicious when I do this. Okay, you... Actually, the king... Having the king like me a bit more is probably fine. But he already has a lot of reasons to like me. But he probably will have... Eh, actually, let's have Matthew there. Let's improve relations... Over there. Let's see, I hope, if this guy actually does any good. Because I think... I think we're going to wait until the prosperity shows in. We have the prosperity everywhere to keep our income good. Then we're going to wait until we have an alliance with the Holy Roman Empire. Nope. Age, let me see. Dynasty. 15... Genius. That's actually quite unfortunate that we don't have older males in our dynasty anywhere here. Actually, let's just check. Search all dynasty join court any dynasty and make sure that this is not lying to us. We have to have just... We don't really care about who it is. Uh, my religion. We're looking for our own dynasty here. Eka Dar married no. Gender men forty four. Okay, okay, let's see. Age fifty. Oh yeah. My son there is a leader of a host. Neat. Okay, we want someone that's not too old, but we don't really care whether he's kinsman or not. Okay, that guy. Let me see. Wait, she was in my court, right? Or she was at least... Uh, uh, let me search. Okay, search my court. Where was it? Where was that lady? What was her name? Okay, search realm. Genius. Oh, yeah, that's right. Junior women. 
arranged marriage. Dynasty. None? Really? That doesn't make any sense. It should be able to. Okay, search all. She's in my court. I should be able to. Oh yeah, but that uh, can only range with other members of my court. So gotcha. So I need what I need to do is not change it to the men. Go over to Hankadal again and make sure. Uh, where's the guy? Who's there? Eleven. I think eleven is the oldest guy that I have. That is not too old. That's like forty. This guy is celibate, so he doesn't help for the purposes here. So I'm going to arrange his marriage tree. Oops, sorry, not marriage, because you are underage. Arrange your betrothal with, sorry, Uslam. Because that will ma make sure there are more geniuses of my dynasty, just somewhere. It puts the genes in the right place. Yeah, Princess of Hungary. S you still haven't had any kids? Jesus. But you're like 30. Yeah, but you're a learning guy. Ugh. Eh, when I die, I'll, I'll, I'll fix that. Besides, my Queen Ingrid has a marriage. My mother, like my here. There are plenty of, there are plenty of heirs around that are of the dynasty, so that's not too bad. And it's one of the reasons why it's always so good to keep as many king in, in an empire, empire title to keep as many dyn uh, nah, as many kingdoms within your dynasty as you possibly can. Just to maintain. Oh, it wasn't the Catholic faith already? Well, good good, good then. Oh, that actually also reminds me. Uh, do I... Because I'm at this stage where I could die at any moment, so whenever I'm at a thousand, I'm just going to burn it. Burn that thousand, convert a county. But yeah, gonna make sure it's that I've basically managed to do that. I've converted most of Scandinavia and a few counties here and there in the Eastern Europe, but it, we still gotta have a, have some way to go. We also got to remember to keep up with our upgrades. I think I'm actually just going to try to make temples where there are no temples. At, at least when there are three slots and you're going to have to make a temple anyway, eventually. Not there, though. No, that that's already, that already has one. That already has one. Clonagarth, we're not going to... We gonna, can't really do any much here. There is already a church there. There's no church there, and this church is only going to be like 250, so we're going to make a church there. Even though it's, eh, it's Sunni, it's probably going to... I, I, it's not exactly how religious conversion pressure works, but I think if you have an actual temple holding there, it's better than if you don't have a temple holding there. The town that should... Uh, okay. An acre? Okay. Sure, get, get better diplomacy. Because our plan is to really betray England by basically throwing that betrothal out of the out of the loop and then attacking them for the entire kingdom in one go. We're going to do that 1229. We're going to make sure though because it's, we only have a weak claim to the throne. Let's just make do some math. 11, e even in, in three years, and even in four years, it'll, it'll still be 15. And, as and it doesn't matter if he reaches the age of 16, as long as the war has been declared, the war has been declared, and it's going to be all good. All good in the hood. Yeah, I'm gonna make a temple here. Because it's pretty cheap to do a temple there. Okay, he's making more duchies. Yeah, that's not going well, is it? No. Also, my threat's going to be a bit lower, but my threat's still going to be insane. Well, we gotta do it really quickly to make sure we just kibosh them down. Is Scotland fighting anybody? Bose on the monk. Yeah, no. We do not want this to be a success. 
Yeah, we do not want this to be a, sex, a success because you're not of the dynasty we want this to be. I would like you to have peace with Scotland. Thank you very much. Because I do not want you to be the king of Scotland. Well, it, but it costs Lena would lose fish. Comparable fee. Uh, Boson lose hunter prestige. Comparable favors. Rear goal. This war was end. Sure. Because I want Scotland to be stable within. Because I want to keep Scotland stable and within my dynasty. That is important to me. Because I have. The king of Scotland is of my dynasty. The queen of Sweden is of my dynasty. Uh, the only one, the only kingdom level vassal I have in my have the, the kingdom level vassals that I don't have that are not of my dynasty are essentially the Slavs, the Russians, and the Poles. The Poles, the Pol the Polish king is not of my dynasty, and the Russian king isn't. But I, that's one of the reasons why I want to keep as many of them as I can. So the Scottish, having both the Scottish and the Swedish throne thrones under the dynasty, is very important to me. Uh, okay, I think I'm going to uh, nah, wait a little bit. Wait, but nah. What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to stop playing when I reach 1229 and I actually get to complete the uh, prosperity bonus. Because when you have the prosperity bonus r nicely set up, set up, I will gain the extra stewardship, ship, which is, is fine by itself. Uh, it should be mine. It's just so expensive. Sure, it should be mine. I'll try to steal the crown of thorns. What's the worst thing that could happen? Oh, I'm probably going to... Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to gather up the enough money and make sure that I have already paid my debts to the Jews. I've owed the Jews for money for some quite some time. And despite of this, the, like all of these guys love, uh, love me, but I want to make sure that I get rid of that before my next character shows up, because he actually might have some trouble with his religious vassals. Hmm. That's all going up well quite nicely. It's all good in the HUD. We're not going to have any wars, we're just going to have it have things nice and relaxed. Does that do anything? Imp did that ruin anything important? No, I don't think it did. Having decided that uh, that the relic would be much better safeguarded guarded in my own hands, I must now tackle the task of how to liberate it from the confines of the monastery. I can think of a few different paths to take: grab it and run. Bribe. Seventeen seventy-seven. Uh, grab it and run. I cannot afford that much money. Okay, this is probably going to end up bad, isn't it? Uh, is stealing holy artifacts, sacred artifacts, bad? No one told me it was bad. Oh, I haven't actually paid penance in a while. I'll, I'll do that. I'll pay penance. Yeah, that's actually the thing that's funny. funny. Uh, wait, yeah. Oh yeah, this county is, strangely enough, independent. The county itself is independent, but all of the... Holdi but one of the holdings is being held by the Holy Roman Empire. Interesting. It must have been sort of a natural, like, over-vassal limit decline or something. Am I doing any du jour drifts at the Kingdom Hall? No, no, no du jour drifts yet. You've caught me... Let me see, deep in the night I have snuck into the relics chambers, and Roland pumps through my veins as I take hold of the priceless artifact, savoring the feeling of it in my hands. But suddenly I hear the sound of footsteps and turn around to find uh, Dr. Donatus Octane looking at me with wide eyes. Uh, they have caught me. I submit to the Order's judgment. Uh, use, their, <laughs> use their surprise to make a break of it. Leave no witnesses. Loses the turn temperate, which is the plus two stewardship. Uh, minus two. 1236 for 10 years? Jesus, that is too good. That's too bad. I don't want to leave the order. 
We have no witnesses. It ha it, it, I have done it. I have the relic. There is no scratch on me. I have covered the tracks as best I can. Nobody has suspected it was I who killed Donato Zaktine and took the artifact. It had to be done. Well, I apparently stole the crown of thorns. Um. Um. Real, real sorry. Real, real, real sorry about that. But at least it does have national reward risk minus three percent. A bit, bit of prestige, a bit of piety, diplomacy plus one, same religion. That's really good. My, my treasury is is looking pretty decent right about now. Uh, I am a fallen man. What was once a noble knight is now just a mere sinner. I am not a true knight. Oh, true Christian knight. What did that even do? It did something, right? It's at least... Uh, oh, actually, that's... A Temple of Vassal Opinion is kind of annoying to lose, but the rest of it isn't too bad. Does that actually bring some of these under the Pope? Nope, they all still like me better. But the... Like, the minus 3% revolt risk is, is, like, not nothing. That is pretty good. My priest always talks about the importance of charity, and I do give alms to the poor on a regular basis. However, I f often feel reluctant when doing so, and it brings me shame. While doing penance, I have had plenty of time to think about it. Perhaps I should strive to be more charitable. Still give, don't I? Surely that must be enough. 65% chance with dealing with a wife by practicing moderately without getting noticed. I don't give enough. I, I don't give enough. I am Luki. Make another donation. Uh, forty percent of overturning the Western good, sixty percent of fail. Okay, still give, still give, and eh, that's fine. I just want to take the less risky one. Ah, okay, I, I make no progress, but that's not too bad. If I f get on the mission, I'm going to get my two thousand. Ooh, I have my thousand. Let's over look the religion stuff. The religious stuff. We're gonna make sure that the capital, that the Russian capital, is going to be a nice Catholic. Because I am the Conversus of the Benedictine Order. And also, I'm gonna probably gonna upgrade some towns. Actually, I probably just want to stack. I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for some capital upgrades. Yeah, get training ground one. It's actually a bit, a bit embarrassing that I don't have at least one yet. Ever made your dynasty, dynasty member of the Pope? Uh, not in this playthrough, but I have before. Uh, although the, it was a bit awkward the last time I remember having trained my dynasty member of the Pope because I was a Germanic at the time. So, so I gotta admit that was a bit awkward. Uh, but I have, and it's actually, and it's actually quite nice to get that opinion boost, because like if you get the the really good thing about it is that if you get it while well, well, you're really really small, uh, and you get your dynasty member onto the pope's th onto the popedom, you can actually use the thing that you never get to use otherwise, which is the invasions, and if that might get you a du jour that can really swing things around really quickly. Uh, and also just request being able to request money off of the Pope can sometimes be really helpful. But in my experience, it's it's not th that great if you're already huge. Uh, having your uh, your dynasty member become the Pope is really good when you're like mid-sized, but when your empire is as tall as mine is right now, or, or wide as mine, mine is right now, it's, it's fine, but it's not great. Eh. Yeah, I was building a church here. There'll be a lot of lots of lots of nice churches here, churches in these places. That'll surely increase the taxes. Get taxes up. Okay, how long was it until I can change a law? It was twelve thirty. And what was the next one? It let them be chancellor and stewards. That's also let them get marshals and the full was just they can be anything and you can have certain gender laws. Let me see. A lot of peasants have been moving to the county of Finland lately. Your steward abbey of Jungalbari? Oh yeah, I have a Jewish guy. Yeah, I can, yeah I'm, I'm just gonna keep him Jewish. I will let me see the constructions. Yeah, 60 gold, 25 prestige. Local built 
time modifiers. Eh, just Onika Upland. Yeah, because especially the minor prosperity modifiers are, are going to be really good, especially when you have the Sea of the Realm Prosper thing on. Because usually that 1% might, that, that tiny bit that you get from the sea, from Atna, usually when you get a, a, like a modifier from one source and a modifier from another, it's sometimes just barely not enough to get get a county over to the next level of prosperity. But with the Atna ambition, it gets a lot, a lot, a lot likelier. I know it was you who murdered Octane and took our prize role. As soon as I have the necessary, I shall expose you to the order. Bribe him, allow him the honor of returning that for and, and by his son. Keep it regardless. Uh, uh, I wanna. Hmm. A thousand gold. That will take me quite a while to recuperate, and I'll get a lot of the negative modifiers from that. I don't want to kick. Out. Do I want to kick out the Jews? I don't particularly want to kick out the Jews. This could turn really awkward. I'm gonna. Ah, I don't want the negative ten diplomacy modifier. Is is this just an nine cent fin or minus ten diplomacy modifier? General opinion minus ten. Uh, I do not want general opinion minus ten. It's gonna be two years. That's gonna be twenty-four months. Twenty-four times fifty. Ugh, that should be fine. I'm not happy about it, but this should be fine. Declare it's King Scotland's work to revoke FIFA on Duke. Oh, okay, that's actually quite fine. And maybe, just maybe, we can. Ugh, I don't want to kick the Jews out. Do we have Knights Templar in the realm? Oh, am I crashing? I might be crashing. That's not good. Crashing is bad. It, it does look like I'm crashing. It doesn't happen too often, but I'm freezing up and getting it up. Come on, come on, CK2, you can do it. Start responding. Just do it. Just join the other order. N nah, I, I don't think I do, especially since... Uh, nah. Okay. Not the, not the Knights of Tonic. That's right. Uh, two Tonic. I honestly don't... I, I think I think because... I think because I've gotten up to Conversus, I think I really don't want to change orders. Because being Conversus actually lets me uh, convert counties uh, with my devotion. And that, especially con if you look at the religious review, you can just see how many counties are there are of, of other religions in my empire. It's just... It's just kind of a must... Mari, yeah, okay. It's just kind of a must to keep converting counties quickly, the, as quickly as possible. And I'm just, I, I'm at, I'm reaching 70 years old. I'm just not going to have the years it takes for that. Like, I'm going to have some of these, these penalties up here and there, but for the most part, they'll be fine. Like, I'll get the local revolt risk, I'll get some of the other things, but overall it won't be that bad. I'll get a lot of the negative penalties for having debts here and there, but then I'll lose those debts eventually. And, and especially since my income is generally increasing off of things like castle towns being created, it's 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 not going to be too bad because it's only going to take me five. It's only going to take me about five five months to pay back all pay back the entire thing, give or take. So it it's it sucks that I have to pay this, but I think that's I think still the best the best option for me right now, especially since I still 
get the bonuses for the Crown of Thorns. The Crown of Thorns that Jesus <laughs> once intended to mock Jesus' claims of divine authority has now become a symbol of precisely that. The second Swedish rewards for Duke Coles is the third. Duke Cole the Third. Who even is Duke Cole the Third? Let me see. How big is this revolt? Yeah, sure, sure. You're gonna take on Sweden. Good, good luck with that. God has shown me the light. It is all coming up together. I'll soon be able to get that, and that will give me some more devotion for this. It'll all be okay. Mm, I don't care about any of this. We just speed four. We're gonna finish the other two years, years or so, and then it'll all be fine. Yeah, the the Scottish king is gonna kick the Duke of Man. He's gonna consolidate his power power a little bit here, and that is fine by us. Because we want this guy to be landed. We want this guy to remain a powerful force in Scotland, despite his relatively meh at the relatively uh, meh at the domain. Yeah, see, I'm already only up to like negative 800, and and with 50 a month, this isn't so awful. Like, I'm not gonna kick out the Jews just to get out of debt quicker. Because the thing is, the big big issue is that I get out of debt by 1229. Uh, before that, I don't really care if, I, if I'm if i in debt until then. And since I'm cutting it about 50 a month, that means I'm cutting it by... Like, my year yearly income is somewhere thing around 5,000. Until you need mercs. Yeah. Like, I, I agree with that notion to build up your tax, tax but... It's going to take a while before I'll need mercs. Uh, I'll only really need mercs if I'm trying to take on the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, actually, maybe against England if they if they manage to get some friends in the meanwhile, but they don't really have any friends, and I don't think they're going to generate any friends. Okay, I don't think we have the claim on them, but because they like us a lot. The kinswoman. Do I, do I seriously have no one left? No one? Anyone? That is frightening. Actually, maybe, maybe is there is maybe is there a suit? Oh, actually, I can do that. I can break the patrol, and while the war is going on, I can up the uh, betroth that uh, the girl that is betrothed to the king of England into France, and that should work out nicely. It's all in day's work. I just wish my son would make more kids for fuck's sakes. He's got. Ugh, he's got no oh, really nothing to offer in that department. Okay, she got a decent education. We'll marry that. We'll gain minor amounts of prestige for going into an another empire. We have lots of lots of piety though. And lots and lots of prestige, which is good. Because this, yeah, this emperor has been reigning for a really long time. Yeah. Yeah, and now she is... Empress. Was Lothian, sadly, power and opinion just is just not is allowed to support the string. Yeah, there's like a bunch of these modifiers that are gonna appear, but Oh, it's a niece though. Eh, I I'm gonna take the money. Getting out of debt a bit earlier is going to be fun is going to make me a lot a bit nicer. See it's it's only about halfway to the time and it's going to be fine. Ugh Ugh, come on, don't don't have pneumonia and die. That would be quite irritating. Uh, you honor me converses. Do I have enough to convert another county? I do not. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, Veliki Uchtuk. It's gonna be like what? Rubber band levy size, supply limit. Ah, uh, yeah, they're, they're, it's, it's gonna be bad things. Pra Ooh, praise be to God, I gain humble again. Humble also has the same trade opinion and a bit of monthly piety, which is fine. Uh, Abai is no longer steward. Hope it's a beneficial influence. Random, one of my random relatives is becoming Irish, that's fine. This is not an acceptable amount of stewardship. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go here. Yeah, we can't. We have to, it has to be men right now. Any joint court? Yes. Stewardship positive. I will invite this German to my court, and hopefully he will accept there. Accept my invitation and become my steward. I think we're actually going to have him, instead of, we're going to have him collect tax. You're going to be my steward, and you're going to collect tax in the capital. Hopefully getting one, triggering one or so of the events to collect more tax, tax to uh, the special tithe events, and then that should get us out of debt real quick. Because if this uh, Castle of La Fay, oh, okay, nice Templar getting more powerful. That's nice. Because if this whole war to get England works out, that's actually going to be pretty great. Because at that point, actually, forming the Empire of Britannia, not a good idea until I can. Uh, like, basically, I'm not forming any new empires until I can change uh, the titles for the empires. Oh, my wife is finally goddamn pregnant after being married since I I've forgotten what like I've I've been married to her since she was like I don't know 15, 14, 15 or something, and she's finally having her first at age 32. Eh, I don't like if I get any of the things that that like ask me, are you sure that it's yours? I'm gonna say nope, that that's definitely mine. But but she was with an nope nope that's mine. Don't 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 care. Don't just 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 don't care. Don't care whatsoever. Especially since that kid is not even inheriting. Ugh. Stupid. Stupid. Stupid hosts. Okay, we're down to 300 negatives, which is, again, it's annoying that that, that, that happened. Like, maybe I should have just paid, like, the 300 to make everyone in the order like me a tiny bit better instead of this whole nonsense, but, eh. And to be fair, like, and this is also the, the nice thing, because this is a whole one piety, and this is a, a no point... 25 piety, piety. My treasury is going to make sure that I can get to the initial required piety to do things fairly quickly, which I think is actually pretty good to maximize the again to maximize the opinion to my temple uh, temple vessels as quickly as possible with piety. Uh, uh, three thousand prestige. Uh, I don't want to be in war. That's gonna cost me. That's gonna cause the thing to see the realm prosper through Or if he goes, if Edwick's realm is attacked, or he goes to war, the ambition will fail, and he can't take it again for five years. It's two years until I do that. Eh, I'm actually. I won't be able to make any friends for the Byzant for the for the war that happens over here. I won't be able to have any friends, so I'm gonna have to just have to accept and fail at this. Ugh, that is uh, that is a no that is irritating. Ugra, okay, that's actually quite nice. I believe it's like that one. Oh, that one. Okay, okay, that's actually quite nice. We're just converting it to converting it a little by little. Oh, yeah, that actually means that this is the only thing that's going to go there. Perfect. Sematon. Russia, Prussia, uh, Lithuania, Samaitan? Oh, he's attacking. Yeah, it's actually from for that county. Eh, that's that's fine. Like I can I can live with that. 
Because I think we might have, like, not fight the the Holy Roman Empire, because I don't think we're going to fight the Holy Roman Empire until, like, it for some reason destabilizes it itself to a great deal and becomes split up. Then we might take care of it, or if we somehow land in the position of mir of, of com combo mirroring into it, then that would be good. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to try to look out for female male lords in here and already betrothed. Let's see, let's see. 54, not worth it. And trying to arrange with people with my dy dynasty, I think. Is it no one of my dynasty? A nephew, but this nephew is not of my dynasty. Why did he even call me? You didn't even need me, you stupid king. Invite to court. Okay, because if I can get and put s more and more things in if I can just put more and more lords into the in of my dynasty into the Holy Roman Empire then maybe one of my dynasty will get eventually voted upon and if one of my dynasty eventually gets voted upon it's all good we'll just see if if we like make these betrothals uh, can three so there's a better non-aggression pact. Unfortunate. Oh, oops. Did we have marriage on any? Ooh, actually, we're looking for marriage. No. Hmm, never mind. It doesn't look like that plan is actually going to work. Unless... Unless we have more kids. Actually, that's actually true. We're going to have a kid out of her relatively soon. Let's hope that one grabs something. Okay. At least we're going to get to start collecting taxes from all these holdings that we've developed. And that should get us out of the debt quicker. Yeah, that one's going fine. Cause I believe, yeah, the Duke, the Duke of Livonia is still, is still of my dynasty. Which he doesn't have any heirs. Is it elective? It's not. Ex it's senior. It's he has seniority succession. That makes sense why he's so old, and it makes sense why I'm here because it's like, <laughs> like even though I'm uh, eleven years older than him. Uh, immediate look at after the council much left to like change from wooden part apparently it's an encrypted rumor concerning a rare art for Carl believe that it's truth is a rumor and urge me to search ahead. Edward can ask one of his counselors. Sure. Uh good idea. You should you should go look for it. That's fine. That don't know whether that's a good good thing or not. You're taking the luck, yeah you you so didn't need to call me into this war, you douche. That costed me so much that you did that. Like, ugh, it cost me the th it cost me the fact that I would increase the prosperity in all my counties. It's, ugh, ugh, ugh. Mm, my threat is down to whole eighty nine. Uh, Jesus. They're gonna get get less and less territory, but. After grabbing England, we're again going to be stuck at 99 threat for a really long time, for a really good reason. But we're going to have yet another king vassal in the Empire. Eighteen votes versus one versus two. Ugh, you're a douche. You also ruined my chances to find alliances to finish the off the alliance here. Sure, I'll form an alliance with you. We 
with the Holy Roman Empire, the Empire here. Okay, there we go. And you're gonna now start to improve statecraft, specifically to try to get some of this threat down. Even though, yeah, we, we don't, we're gonna have a lot of threat for some time to come. It's still gonna take us. Uh, how long it's gonna take us? Sure, how did you see again? How much? Yeah, it's gonna take me 300 months. So it's gonna take 360 months. So it's gonna take me like 20, 30 years. Okay. A lot of people are becoming Irish. That's that's fine. It's not even people that are in the line of succession, because most of the people in the line of succession, like me, are Danish. Well, I believe my father was something else. Yeah, my father was Swedish. Yeah, I think this guy, this character was born Welsh, though. Was it though? Okay, maybe it wasn't. Or maybe it was educated by someone who was Welsh? Because I, I, I remember, because Edwig is a really Welsh sounding name. Let me see. Trumped. Loki, teacher of the crew. And then it's just a slayer, teacher of the crew. And then it's Harl, the fifth usurper. Now that, now this was a real character. <laughs> A temple holding has been constructed here. Yeah, we're getting out of the debt just fine. Benedictine order. Hmm. Because the thing is, if we can conquer the... Like, if with this, we'll have almost the entire British Isles at our command. Sure, she deserves greatness. Go get it. Enosh. Please tell me she's not betrothed yet. Uh-huh. Even though it's kind of taxing on it, I do want to make sure that I start to see seed more and more lords into the Holy Roman Empire that become my dynasty. I think that's an important priority right now. Okay, no. <laughs> yeah, it deserves a better non-aggression pack. Maybe if I can get uh, get some marriages that actually give me non-aggression packs, maybe. Actually, how big is Corinthia? not bad. Yeah, that's what keeps the Russian in. Okay, you can shut the stake. Where's the epidemic coming from? It's a little bit everywhere. Eh. I have a feeling I'm not gonna really gonna really gonna even bother with it. I'm probably not gonna catch the disease. So I'm probably just gonna be fine. I mean, I've already gotten up to the age of 66. Ugh, he so did not need my help. He still has like 5,000 men. It's like 6, 6,000 men it's against 500. That is just not great. Uh, okay, uh, I guess, guess, guess you didn't want that marriage. Fine! I, I didn't want that marriage either, What whatever that was. Okay, out of debt! Yeah! No longer have to face the crippling thought of debt and bankruptcy and all of that stuff. And now I'm probably going to get stuffed with the events that get me stuffed with the events that get me yeah, that get me other thing. Okay, the reason okay, I'm probably going to quit right about now, but the reason why I, I was gonna at least wait for till 1229 was to get the prosperity thing, but now that that's not over, we have a plan. Uh, I'm just so sorry. I, I think uh, we want our Atna. Uh, I think we want to be married to someone else. Oh, oh. Let me see. Wait, do I still have a non aggression pact? Oh, 
Oh, I need to be at peace for this to break. And now he's gonna be a part of my defensive pact. Shit. Okay. Okay, never mind. We're gonna do this. We're gonna just have to wait for until hung Ugh, stupid Hungary and just is just ruining all of my plans. Fourteen stewardship is not acceptable. I'm looking for someone who has a I don't give a sh I don't give a shit if he's married or not. I'll invite you to my court. Okay, maybe this won't work out the way I thought it the way I thought it might. But damn, my council is just full of nothing but loyalists. That is at least somewhat nice. It's two years until we can change some laws. Can't use my duties, but that's fine. Very well. Dick clear. I'm glad I hired Tariq. Actually, do I have any patrol rules that can get that done? No. Let's see. Do I have... nope. There's not even much much on his side that really gets it done. Is there a grandchild that maybe gets it done? Where's my patrol over here? Prefer material marriage. I don't give a shit about material marriage. Okay, I feel free. Okay, actually... We don't really need France, do we? But it would be nice, and he has the, the... He likes us enough, we just don't have the marriage for him. Okay, let's try putting my half-sister... <sighs> Count of Cherno. Mm. Doesn't have anything that's like an uncle, maybe? No, he doesn't have any uncles or anything like that, so... We'll allow him to wage war against you. Okay, we're gonna break off the betrothal again. We don't give a shit that he doesn't like us. We're gonna... For 36 months, for one, two, three years. Hmm, fine by us. These are the... Pen Breaking a truce, Christian religious opinion. I think it's worth it. I think it, which is our nephew. Grant wanted title. Okay, what's the one of the worst title t t counties here? Narva, Riga, Kreuzberg, Forez, Kusto, Sword, Ostkarolen. Let's give him the county of Ostkarolen. And even though this makes us range patrol between this my niece, even though this makes us really hate it and takes our real shit out of our prestige, that Dutch. Okay, I don't like that because this. Uh, well, this will actually tear the. Tear Scotland apart, and if I win that, it'll be too powerful. But this guy, if I make this guy the king, he's my nephew, so we can already have a pact of an aggression, everything with him, and we can just take over England. Even if that makes everybody hate us a lot, it's still going to be a worth we're having, and we're going to have claim England, claim England, 
and we're gonna tell everybody to start claiming on it. And even with the penalties, many of them like us a lot. And if we win this war, we're going to be boof, bullshit powerful. So, okay. But this war is gonna take a little bit of a long time, so I'm gonna keep this until the next session. But I'm still gonna take a little bit of time to just casually look at the characters we've played. Like, we started off out with East Liver of Hegedal, who has just had just Iceland and that's it, and we ended up with a negative score for the character somehow. It was probably, I don't know, some prestige thing, I don't know. Then we had King Tater the Cruel, who did actually be became the King of Norway for 19 years. Then we lost the kingdom, became a duke again, but we had uh, had some territories. And then we became King Harold the, Harold the Usurper, who ruled for 30 imp impressive 35 years. Then we have Queen Profst the Wise, which was a nice solid 13. She gave us a f f not as much score as King Harold, because King Harold lived for like 35 years. What's your YouTube? Uh, let me just check to make sure. It should it 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 sh if you search it it should be under the same name as this account Count John D as you can see in my Twitch name. Uh, but if if that doesn't work, I can at least should be able to link it right here. Yeah, right, right here. It should be the the same YouTube channel. The chat, chat, you could, should be able to search uh, YouTube under the same name. Uh, I had a little bit of problem of uh, and not remembering that if you connect, it's a weird thing. It it did. It, I I wanted them to be the same one, but apparently because when I created my YouTube account, I eventually decided to hook it up to my like Gmail account. And apparently, your name settings of the Gmail account somehow override your YouTube account or something, because then it got changed to my real name. But I changed it back, so it should be good right now. But anyway, I was just reviewing it over. I had Queen Prost the Wise. Yeah, this is actually really, really funny. I'm going to review a little bit. This this guy managed to scheme himself into being king, uh, the, the king of Norway, mostly through factioning, um, power brokering, and alliancing and such. So it went okay. This guy. <laughs> This guy ruled for 14 days. Uh, and why did he rule for 14 day? only for 14 days? Because his little brother was the Antichrist. <laughs> Which is this guy. This guy was the Antichrist, King Harold the Usurper. Uh, I probably could have done it without having a, uh, the Antichrist, but with it I used the, a lot of the things you get for being the Antichrist to, more, to very effectively take over Scandinavia, a lot of Scandinavia, and just using the various abilities and such, and it actually went really well. And this is my little Icelandic Antichrist. Uh, then this was Queen Profs the Wise. The reason why she has a weird uh, Welsh name is because uh, her mom was Morgana, the, like the, the legendary witch that, that I got from King Harold the Usurper. Uh, then uh, someone that was not even... Uh, even an heir, of, heir, or heir to Harold or something got voted in as king of Norway, but that was fine by me, because this guy ended up being pretty good, ruled for 25, 70 years, and formed the empire. This emperor wolf uh, died very quickly out of a, out of a devil worshipper curse, and died about in, t in about two years. And then I lost the empire, the empire title, and I had to sp spend essentially the first 20 years or so of this character uh, <laughs> just reclaiming it. But he did it, and after reclaiming it, he's you know ruled for almost 40 years after that. So he has been a pretty good emperor, em, em, like emperor for us. And he has uh, there's and the only character that competes with him in how many points he's generated is Emperor Trond, and he is just still way ahead, and he is still taking up strong. And if he gets to also get the Kingdom of England title, whoo boy! But anyway, until next time, until next time, keep power brokering in Europe, and you know. Just keep spreading your family name all over the place. See you next week.